Hello. Hello. And welcome to Let's, Let's talk, talk About, about book. book, where we talk about book. book. And our current book is The Well of Ascension yeah. by Brandon Sanderson. I'm Smivka. And I'm Strawberry. And boy, howdy. <laughs> This is uh, quite the quite the section. This here. is this is quite the section. A lot of stuff I've really been looking forward to. So yes, and we're gonna we always start with the epigraphs, mm -hmm. and that's gonna be good because I've written nothing about the epigraphs. But as I was reading, I was like, hmm? yeah, <laughs> I was getting confused by them. Got you. In the sense of like, what what is huh? Um, and so reading them together, um, maybe I'll have some, like, thoughts about them, because yep. I'm like, what's, what's going on with them? So, right. The epigraphs. Yeah. Uh, the one before chapter 40? Yeah, we're, we, we're doing chapter 40 through... Right. 40 through... Uh, the end of part four, which 48. is... 48. 48. Yeah, chapter 40 through 48. Yeah. You'll see it in the title. <laughs> we might split this up into, into two. Into two. We'll if, see. If we have to, we've said that before and not done it. <laughs> so you know, you'll the episode will 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 let you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the first one. And yet, something about all this seemed so convenient. It felt almost as if we constructed a hero to fit our prophecies, rather than allowing one to rise to arise naturally. This was the worry I had, the thing that should have given me pause when my brethren came to me, finally willing to believe. Right, because because we went over that one last time. Yep. And, you know, it's like, what does it mean for it to arise organically? After that, I began to see other problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of you may know of my fabled memory. It is true. I need not a ferrochemist's metal mind to memorize a sheet of words in an instant. Yeah, because I was like, what does that have to do with anything? Why is, why is that important? The others call me mad. As I have said, that may be true. See, because at this point I'm like, are they getting disjointed or are they still in order? Because it's like... I can memorize the entire page. They say that I'm mad. Yeah. Like, is that about that, or...? But must not even a madman rely on his own mind, his own experience, rather than that of others? Mm-hmm. I know what I have memorized. I know what is now repeated by the other world bringers. Okay. This does help having it all back-to-back -back like this. The two are not the same. The two are not the same. What they're saying versus what he's memorized. Elendi believes what they say. Mm-hmm. He is a good man, despite it all. He is a good man, a sacrificing man. In truth, all of his actions, all of the deaths, destructions, and pains that he has caused have hurt him deeply. All of these things were a kind of sacrifice for him. Gotcha. Okay. It, it does help because it's like, Alindy believes the same, but because it's like broken up yeah. over the course of these chapters, putting them all together does sort of like help kind of clarify. It's like, what, what does Alindy believe? Yep. Yep. <laughs> you know? Because it's hearing that line... I'm just like, wait, what, what are you talking about? And it's like, okay, so he believes what they're saying, but what they're saying isn't the same as what he memorized about the prophecy, I'm guessing? So, yeah, that's that's interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I do wonder, because, you know, in the chapters, I feel like we get sort of a little bit. Yeah. Um, uh, if, if we, we get, like, a little bit about some of the whole, like, Hero of Ages stuff. Um, which maybe sort of clarifies some of this, but it's like, yeah, what, what is the difference yeah. between what he's memorized and what they're saying yeah. and like, you know, yeah, just, just what's, what's going on. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought that maybe I'd have more to say about this. It, it does help clarify having them yes. sort of like read back to yeah, back because yeah. they all do sort of like go together in yeah. a way that like the logbook entries didn't, Yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. we're more scattered, we're more scattered and stuff. But these sort of go together in a way that you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And, like, not being split up by chapters, you yeah. know, they kind of make more sense. Because, like, just hearing them... Yeah, because a few of them are just, like, one lines. Yeah, like, like one, those... Yeah. Just, like, one line ones kind yeah. of, like, throw me off. Because I'm like, wait, what's this in reference to? Because yeah. I'm not just, like, remembering what the last one was. Yep. Because there was a whole <laughs> chapter in between where a bunch of interesting stuff happened. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've, I have... Yeah. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, no, just the, the, these have been quite the chapters. Yeah. They, they've been, you know, stuff's really getting going. I'll have to come up with, like, a title that's not Sandra Lance related, because <laughs> I already used that. Yeah. You know. We also, we're supposed to do the next section in one part, but I'm mm -hmm. almost debating splitting it into two. Into two. Regardless, mm -hmm. just because... I feel like it'll be fun to talk about stuff in the middle of it. Right, because there's two parts left. Yeah. Parts five and six. Yeah. And six is much shorter. Like, yeah. five and six are, like, shorter yeah. than the others. We were, like, going over that earlier. Like, 
part two is like really big and part one's like half its size yep. and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. So are we are we ready to go on to the chapters? Yeah. Alrighty. Chapter forty. Yes, chapter forty. So I actually have a lot of notes this time. I have like a bunch of <laughs> notes as opposed to last time where I had like no notes. Yep. So this this could be really long. <laughs> but uh, I have cute scene with Vin and Ellen. She feels safe with him. Yeah. So it's like she wakes up and isn't immediately like jumpy and, yep. you know, because it's like, you know, we, we see like, I feel like we've had a few scenes where Vin gets like woken up by somebody yes. and she immediately like jumps up and grabs her knife and all this sort of yep. stuff. Um, like I think Tyndall, like in the mm-hmm. section before there was yep. one of those. Yep. Tyndall did that for sure. Um, but she doesn't do that yep. with Ellen. Yep. She, she feels all safe and comfy with him, which is nice. Um. Uh, also, I find it funny because Vin said not to put her in a nightgown. It was just like a little note that I had. Um, something about like, you know, when they were like putting her to bed with like her injuries and stuff, said not to put her in a nightgown. And I'm like, does that imply that Vin sleeps nude? <laughs> Probably. And so this whole time when like Tyndall comes and like, yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. just like <laughs> naked holding a dagger yeah. and like a vial of metal. <laughs> it's very like kind of funny and unhinged. Yeah. Um... Course. Yeah. That sounds like barking that's not our dogs, but just like someone else's maybe. I think they're going back and forth. Yeah. Having having dog talks. Having talks. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Back from letting the yes. the dogs in. Um but yeah, I, I just always find that stuff funny because like the the whole like Vin modesty yeah. issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh because that comes up again. Way later in one of the much later chapters, but we'll get to that. I have <laughs> I have a note about that as well. Um, Ellen, not in uniform. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. Ellen uh, flinches when uh, Vin is, like, moving and stuff. Yeah. And she's all like, oh, yeah. Because yeah, Vin's, Vin's still in her feelings. Yeah. Um, There's, uh, um, he'd fallen in love with a lie. What? He said, looking into her face. Nothing, Vin said. She withdrew her hand. Within her, something cracked. I love him so much. Why? Why did I let him see? If I only had a choice. Uh, if only I'd had a choice. He's betraying you, Reen's voice whispered in the back of her mind. Everyone will leave you eventually, Vin. Yeah. And, and I have a line written in here, which is, he'd try to force himself to keep loving me. And I said, Vin, what the hell are you on about? Yeah. <laughs> He's such a good guy, he tried to force yep. himself to keep loving me, and I'm like, Ben, yeah. what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> um, or Sir attacked a human for her. Mm-hmm. Um, which, boy, that sure is interesting. Yeah. So, like, it's crazy because, like, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep the chapters to the chapters, yeah. but, like... You know, reading this whole section, yes. it's interesting going back to the beginning of the section. Right. And now I'm having to, to sort of... Look look over the kind of... Because they have a few conversations in, yeah, in, yeah. in this whole scene and everything. Right. Yeah, yeah, It's like suddenly, you know, so suddenly I have all this, like, new information from yep. the end of the section that, yep. I, that I'm bringing back to the beginning of the section. But, uh, yeah, Orsur attacked a human for her, yep. which is big... Um, cause it's like, oh, you know, he's like doing stuff to help her. Yeah. He, he like seems to care about her, um, or like have come to have some sort of like loyalty to her. Um, and, and, uh, it's like, you're, you're not supposed to like kill people. I, yeah. th- this, I don't think this is like right now. I have this as like a later note. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's like, uh, uh, it's like Condra can't kill humans. Right. They're not allowed to by the contract. Um, but it's like, I didn't kill anyone. You did. Yep, yep. <laughs> I, listen, I may have attacked this guy, but I didn't kill him. You killed yep, him. Yep. I just helped you. <laughs> I just helped facilitate you killing him, which is different. Um, but my note immediately after Orser attacked a human for her, because that was, I think, more just like a me yeah, yeah, observation yeah. than later they actually like, talk about it. Um, Zane's here. God, Zane, you suck. Zane's playing games with Vin. Uh, th- those are my like next three notes. Yeah. Because yeah. Zane shows up. I guess Ellen probably leaves at some point. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Didn't write that and in. But goes. Uh, where does he go? Because like 
Vin needs to, like... Oh, yeah, he, like, gives her something to fall asleep. Yes, gives her some, like, medicine, like a sedative that, yeah. like, Sazed yeah. um, had for Sazed her. sent it? Vin asked skeptically. Drugged, then? <laughs> <laughs> Helen smiled. He warned me not to taste it myself. Mm-hmm. He said it was filled with enough sedatives to knock me out for a month. Yep. Takes a lot to affect uh, pewter burners. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, and so it's like, here's some medicine. Yeah. And so then she falls asleep, he leaves, and then... She wakes up later to find that Zane's there. Yeah. And Zane continues to suck and be the worst. Yeah. Because he starts lying to her yeah. about the assassins. Yeah. Because we know that those were Straff's assassins. Yep. We know because yep. there was a scene where he was all like, we sent them and they died and he's all mad at Zane and all yep. this sort of stuff. But it's like, but Zane starts, it's like getting her convinced that it's set Sets, yeah and, and, it, and it's so interesting because this whole time with like set it's like oh there's like he only has like a few alamancers like yeah. hardly any and it's like oh yeah no i recognize one of the assassins they were like part of sets whatever yeah and it's like i was like maybe she was just mistaken i don't think this is too much of a thing to yeah. sort of like because like we already know that like he's lying here right, right, about right. stuff like we know that sort of stuff and it gets clarified a little bit more that like yes that guy was with like sets people but was like planted yes. there by zane to yeah. make her sort of like think you know that that sort of stuff so it's like you know we get a little bit of clarification on that like yeah. later yeah um, but, like, we, we know at this point already that, that like... That it's, that he's lying. That he's lying about this sort of yeah. shit. And, um, yeah, and, and he's all... <laughs> yeah, because I was, like, <laughs> I had to take a second to read my note and be like, uh, then stop trying to make Vin like you, asshole. <laughs> because he's like, I'm broken, I'm, yeah. you know. And it's like, well, then stop trying to make Vin like you, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> uh, Zane gives her ATM. Yep. Gives her a beat of ATM, and she's like, oh my god. Uh... And so it's like two minutes of ATM, seemingly, and uh, 20,000 boxings. It would be uh, enough ATM that it would cost 20,000 boxings. Yeah. That's the worth of it. Uh, Orser chose another wolfhound body because Orser got fucked up yeah. during that whole fight. And he chose another wolfhound body, which is like, oh, you know, he's, he's like, you know... The, the, their whole thing's like she made him and then he was like oh it's degrading but then he comes to, to be like okay with it and like does it because yeah it's sort of like you know it's like oh you know it's like you saw your dog die but you just get another one yeah. so like you know um uh Kondra, oh yeah and then i have my note about i didn't kill anyone you did yes uh but then i have Kondra can die obvi uh i imagine they could be poisoned was my thing because they're they're talking about like can Kondra die it's like yeah Kondra can die but i'm not gonna like it's like, there are ways, but yeah. I'm not going to, like, explain yeah, it to you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I feel like you could poison them. Like, I don't know what would be poisonous to them, yeah. per se. You know, part of the whole thing is that they, like, eat rotten meat and stuff. Yeah. But there's, you know, there's ways that you can poison things besides that. Because, um, you know, it's like, oh, if they can't be, like, cut or slashed or whatever, you could probably burn them. You could probably, like, poison them somehow if there's some sort of, you know, material that they can't digest properly or something you know something like that uh, uh, you know there, there, there's ways not not the immediate sort of beating to death right, right cutting right. up those sorts of things but like i feel like if you <laughs> threw a chondra in a fire yeah <laughs> it wouldn't be great for the chondra i imagine unless they're just fireproof somehow i don't know yeah so, so, so that's interesting um origin of the chondra created by the lord ruler father <laughs> Those are my notes, because because he refers to the Lord Ruler, the the, the Chondra for the Lord yes. Ruler as father, because the Lord Ruler created them. The Lord Ruler created the Chondra. Uh, here, um, uh, perhaps there are some things I can speak of, Mistress, if I'm careful. What do you know of the origin of the Chondra? Nothing. We did not exist before the Ascension. You mean to say that the that the Lord Ruler created you? Mm -hmm. That's what our Lord teaches. We are not certain of our uh, of our purpose. Perhaps we were to be fathers to spies. Yep. Father? Yep. Chondra theology is my next note. Yep. Just because he's our father does not mean we accepted everything he did, mistress. Mm -hmm. Cannot a human man love his father yet not believe he's a good person? Yep. yep. Chondra theology about father is complex. <laughs> yes. It is rather complex. <laughs> um, Orser is old, but not Ascension old. Uh, like, he's been around for like a long time because Chondra... I wonder if Chondra can live, like, forever without being killed you know yeah if they're if they're like that um 
And then there's talk about... Because this whole thing, it's like, why are Chandra afraid of Mistborn and Allomancy and whatnot? And and she fucking soothing blasts uh, or sir with, like, yeah. Duralumin, I think? Yes. She, like, fucking hits him with it. And he, like, yelps. Yeah. And is like, don't do that. <laughs> And she's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to. Like, whatever." And it's like, "Well, you, you, you did it. Yeah. Like, like you could have said, hey, 'Hey, I'm gonna try something.' But no, you just fucking did yeah, it without asking. Yeah. Which is often an issue with Vin. <laughs> so she just kind of does things. Yeah. Which, ooh boy, <laughs> does she ever just kind of do things sometimes? Yeah. Um, like Alamancers of old. So like Alamancers used to be more powerful. Yes. Alamancy used to be more powerful. But it's gotten weaker over time yeah. because, and we get a little bit more about that later. But I'll I'll get into it then. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's the last thing that I actually have for chapter forty. Got you. Do you have any anything from chapter forty that you want to go over? Um, no, just kind of talking about. Uh, she kind of gives her her theory about how the mm-hmm. conjurer may have been. Yeah. Like, created or whatever. Uh, the power of the, the Well of Ascension, she thought. He took it for himself, but it didn't last. It, have, it must have run out, and quickly. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, why would he have needed armies to conquer? Yeah. An initial burst of power, the ability to create, to change, perhaps to save. He'd pushed back the mists, right. and in the process, he'd made the ash begin to fall, and the sky turn red. He'd created the Chondra to serve him, and probably the Kolos, too. He might mm-hmm. have even created the Alamancers. And after that... He had returned to being a normal man, mostly. The Lord Ruler still had an inordinate amount of power for an Alamancer, and he managed to keep control of his creations. And he had kept the mists from killing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just interesting. A, just a little bit about kind of what, what Vin's thinking about it. Yeah, I was wondering if we had that, like, the Lord Ruler had created Kolos. Yeah. And then she's like, probably. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know if we, I think we maybe like get that confirmed at some point, but this is whenever we, because that was my theory yeah. when I was like, oh, you know, the, the Chandra and the Kolos, they feel a certain kinship. I was yep. like, because you were both created. Yep. And, and, then, like, and you said that and I was like, yeah, well, yep. Yep. It seems it's, like it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and then, and then I found the uh, Chandra are. The Chandra are. And so I imagine the Kolos are as well. Yeah. Like, and that's part of their whole thing. So they're both created. And then also Alamancy was supposedly like a yeah. gift from the Lord Ruler. But also the Alamanches used to be stronger, more powerful. Right. Which, like, he was always, like, an unusually strong one. But that is that because of the well? Or is that just because that's how strong Alamanches used to be? Yeah. And he just was also a ferrochemist, which also gave him, like, a leg up over everyone else. Right. Right? ha ba 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 Yep. So, uh... So yeah, that's that's chapter forty. Yeah, yep, that's chapter forty. So chapter forty one. Yeah. Sezed reasoning the reasoning. <laughs> reasoning. Yep. Sezed reasoning the slab. <laughs> uh, reading the slab to Tindall. Yeah. Uh, they realized that the logbook was Alendi's. Rashik was Quan's nephew. Yeah. Uh, Quan sent Rashik to kill Alendi. <laughs> uh. And but but the thing is is that they're like Quan's story seems inconsistent. They're they're sort of like trying to figure out like okay, Quan's like he's a great guy, yeah. all this sorts of stuff. But I can't let him do it. Yep. He's not the the one. So I'm gonna send my fucking unstable racist <laughs> nephew yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. to go kill him. <laughs> and it's like it seems like a bad plan, my guy. But also Quan seems like not the kind of guy who would do that sort of thing. At yeah. least from their reading of his yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So like, what the fuck is up with that? Why is he like so the deepness is killing everything and there's a chance that this will work. There's a chance that this will work and so he's trying to like stop their only chance of this thing working. That seems weird. And so they're like, hmm, something seems off about this. And I I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't yep. know. It's like <laughs> did Yep. If Rashak fails to lead Elendi astray, then I have instructed the lad to kill my former friend. It is a distant hope. Elendi has survived ass- assassins, wars, and catastrophes. Um, and yet, uh, I hope that in the frozen mountains of Terrace, he may finally be exposed. I hope for a miracle. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm just like, is this like a Rashak fucking retcon? That, that, that feels like it'd be weird, right? It's like, I don't see why that would... But I don't know. Like... Yeah, and then uh, Alendi must not reach the Well of Ascension, for he must not be allowed to take the power for himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's like, well, what is he afraid of Alendi doing with the power right. if he takes it for himself, right? right? 
Yeah, so I really don't know what to, like, do with that yet. Like, I don't know what the sort of, like, implications of that are yeah. supposed to be in terms of, like, why Quan wanted this to be the way that it was. And, like, they're, like, it feels inconsistent. Yeah. But I'm, like, man, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, it's, like, if he gets it, it could be, like, worse. But it's, like, why? Yeah. It's, like, if he thinks he's such a great guy, why does he think that's going to be bad? It's, like, oh, he, yep. he thinks that he's not the hero of ages. So, like, it wouldn't work because there's, like, these contradictions and stuff. So it's, like, that seems, like, a fine reason in terms of, like, well, he's not the hero of ages. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it has to be the hero of ages, so if it's someone other than the hero of ages, obviously that means it's gonna get all fucked to shit. It's gonna yeah. be even worse. That feels reasonable enough. Yeah. But they're, like, no. And so I'm, like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it exactly. Yeah. Um... The keepers were founded in the second century, mm-hmm. um, so it's like it, it's interesting because it feels it's it's the church, you know. Yeah, it's the church. Uh, like y- you know, it's like we don't get stuff about like Jesus and stuff until like a little bit like yeah. after. Yeah, and like we don't start getting this sort of like tradition of like people actually like preserving things until until later. Yes, you know, it's like we have like. Like, the, the closest written things to when Jesus supposed to have lived were, like, yes. decades after. Yeah. And then, and then like, decades after that. After that was, like... You know, and, like, once we start getting into, like, a century or two after when he was, like, supposedly around is yeah. when we start getting, like, the actual kind of, like, church stuff and, yes. like, record keeping and scribes and all that sort of stuff, you know. Um, so it feels kind of like that a yeah. little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ellen is going to stick to his word to the Church of the Survivor. He's going to actually join the church. Gotcha. <laughs> is my next note. But there's probably still more stuff that yeah, we can talk a about little, with, like, um, says and Tindall and the Keepers. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit more of the, the conversation, but we've kind of gone over it. And then mm-hmm. they talk a bit about, like, the city is going to fall soon. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and it's like, um... They seem to believe that they can simply continue to juggle their problems. They are mm-hmm. an optimistic group, he said with a smile, unaccustomed to defeat. This will be worse than the revolution, Tyndall said. Yeah. I have studied these things, says that I know what happens when a conqueror takes a city. And so I'm just kind of yeah. worried about worrying the impending, about uh, uh, Yeah, this the city falling and yeah. getting conquered and what happens with that. And then we and then we cut to to yeah. Ellen. Yeah. And Ellen's like no, nope, I'm still gonna be part of the church because it's important to the people. Yep. Uh, I'm not just gonna like. <laughs> and Demus like really? Yeah, he's like super shocked. <laughs> mm-hmm. I figured that you just you know there was just like a yeah. political move. And yeah, that was. Gonna... Uh, um, my lord, do you still intend to come? Of course, I gave my word that I would join with your cause. That was before you lost the vote, mm-hmm. my lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, and yeah, and, and so then you know, Ellen, Ellen at, at some point is thinking about Vin and about how cool and awesome Vin is. Yeah, where it's like <laughs> she fucking exploded that man's head. She's so cool. Yeah, and and I, I wrote Ellen, mark me down as scared and yeah. horny. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's like Vin's like, oh, she. And Vin just saw the scared and is yes. like upset about it, but it's very much both. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's like Vin's like, he saw me and he's, he's scared and yep. so whatever. And meanwhile, Ellen's like, oh my god, <laughs> you're so cool. <laughs> and and it made me think of um, uh, pudding from yeah, uh, One Piece. Yep. Because One Piece spoilers for the whole Cake Island. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I'm, I'm gonna throw that one in there. Yeah, cause, well, it's basically just that, like, when Pudding sees Sanji, like, because the thing is, is that, like, I think Pudding had been doing, like, hard eyes and stuff. Yeah. But then she sees Sanji, like, right. um, fight and, like, beat the shit out of some people, and then she gets, <laughs> she gets the gets nosebleed. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like she gets horny after specifically he starts like beating people up yeah, yeah, yeah. which is which is funny because that's you know japanese shorthand <laughs> for for horny yep, yep. so it's like i just thought that uh, that was funny um and, and so ellen <laughs> is like that just like watching <laughs> vin kill a man and being like oh my god she's so hot <laughs> 
Um, but but then my my next note is, uh, can you be both a good man and a quote good king? Yeah. Um, and it's like it's interesting because that's part of the whole sort of like question about just like the nature of the government in general. Yeah. And like. It's like, you yeah, know, what it means to be a good king, in quotes, like, you know, to be a, quote, good king is to have that sort of absolute power, that control to, like, you know, be strong-willed and domineering and all that sort of stuff. But it's like, but does that make you a good man, a good person? Is that actually what's, like, right? Right. And so it's like, you know, he's trying to be a good king, but it's like, can you even be both a good king and a good man? And yeah. he's a good man, so he can't be a good king. And it's like, yeah, because kings are bad yeah <laughs> like it's, it's a bad system yeah and and it's like we're, we're sort of like maybe pushing in that direction which is which is fun um and, and that's my last note for chapter 41 got you i think uh, there was a little bit of uh of interaction between uh, ellen tindwell and mm-hmm. Seiza that was fun in this chapter yeah, yeah where it was uh tindwell kind of snaps at him for coming in to get advice mm-hmm. and uh this is still my home, or, where is it? Uh, Ellen, Tindall said, her voice laced with the typical the undercurrent of displeasure. What is your purpose in bothering us? You've already given, you've already proven your incompetence quite soundly. I see no ne- need for further discussion. This is still my home, Tindwell. Uh, insult me again, and you will find yourself ejected from the premises. <laughs> uh, Tindwell raised an eyebrow. Say said, uh, Lord Venture, he said quickly, I don't think that Tindwell meant to. It's all right, Say said. She was merrily testing to see if I'd reverted back to my previous state of insultability. Don't, don't worry, says it. She's just being a bitch like she does. <laughs> and then she goes, I've heard reports of your moping around the palace hallways like a lost child. <laughs> yep. It's like, no, 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 she just does this. Yeah. She just fucking acts like a bitch to me, <laughs> to me to specifically. Me specifically. <laughs> it's just like, it's just, it's just part of our rapport now, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is how, this is how you deal with it. And that I've just learned to live with exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's like, I can read you now, Tindall, yeah. and I know. Yeah. Yeah. I love, uh, I, I love their, their, their interactions and stuff. Yeah. It's fun because Ellen does just sort of like learn how to like read Tindall essentially. Yeah. And it's like, he can still be himself and he can still like learn to sort of take some of the lessons. Yeah. But mostly he just kind of learns how to read <laughs> Tindwell and yeah. how to like deal with her in a sense <laughs> honestly like learning how to take advice like that's mm-hmm. a, a, a good thing in, in yeah. leadership you know like ta- like learning okay what what do i need to take from this and what do i need to leave what do i not what doesn't work for me yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. knowing knowing how to properly sort of like filter it and whatnot yeah, yeah. and so it's just uh it's just funny to, to see that little interaction i had forgotten about that yeah because like i read these chapters a little bit ago and then I, I listened to most all the rest of them last night. Yeah. And then this morning I was up until like 4.30 a.m. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like listening to the audiobook because it was like, it was like almost four. It wasn't quite four. And I yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. I want to keep listening. Yeah. <laughs> and so then I listened to like another chat and I was like, I need to go to bed. Mm-hmm. So then I did. And then I, I listened to like the last couple of chapters just, just today. Yep. Before... 47 and 48. Yep. <clears throat> yep, chapters 47 48 just before. Yeah. Uh, not just before this, but basically yeah. just before yeah. this, because, you know, just earlier today. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Is that all we've got for chapter 41? Uh-huh. Honestly, this might not be as long as we thought, because when I actually have notes like this, I feel like yeah, it goes yeah, faster. Yeah. <laughs> we go on less tangents, and we, like, you know. Are a little bit more. Uh, yeah, yeah, sort of like. Yeah, when I have, like, no notes, it's like, ah, what, what, what was it? What were we doing? Oh, it's like reading some parts and, like, yeah. going yeah, on tangents. They talk a little of, like, religion and stuff in here. Mm-hmm. Providence. And, yeah. And, like, uh, kind of says that talking about uh, him believing, like, all of all of the religions that he preaches or whatever. You talk of God, says it, but don't you preach of a hundred different religions? Three <laughs> hundred. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you believe? I believe them all. That doesn't make sense. You've only pitched a half dozen to me, but I can... I, I can already see that they're incompatible. It's not my position to judge the truth. I simply carry it. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Says its whole view on religion is is interesting. Like it comes up more later. Um, says it and Tind will have sort of like a more direct conversation about it, which is interesting. Yeah. And we can get into later. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's about uh, yeah, forty-one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it's interesting because um, it, it's one of those things where it's like, say, as it puts this certain like value in religion that 
like I don't personally. Yes. And, and so it's super interesting to sort of like hear his sort of thoughts and opinions on it. And it's like, yeah, because it, it's like they are all sort of like different and incompatible. Yeah. And he's like, but there's like truths within them. But he's also not fully like, like he he's not fully just like take the bits that work and leave the rest. Yeah. Like, he kind of is, but he also kind of isn't, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's just like, they are truths, because they are religious truths, they are truths. Right. And, you know, I, it's not my place to judge these truths, but just to keep them. And it's like, on the one hand, that's just sort of his, like, keeper-ness yeah. of being like, you know, this is my field of study, but he's still like, I believe all of them. Yeah. You know, which, which is interesting. And, and again, we'll, we'll get more into it later. But it, but it's still just sort of like an interesting like as we get these sort of like peeks at it yep. throughout. But yeah, that's that's chapter forty one, and so chapter forty two. Uh, <clears throat> so so this is where I started like listening last night. So this will be a bit more fresh, perhaps. Ellen has soldiers tearing apart old keeps for firewood. Uh, he's like ordering Demu and some soldiers and stuff to like go to some of the old keeps. And then, like, uh, tell the Ska that have taken up residence there to, to move to, like, the other houses. Because it's, like, the keeps are big, but they're a bunch of little tiny rooms yep. that all need to be sort of, like, heated individually. Yeah. As opposed to, like, one big room that's, like, heated. And so it's, like, it's for taking care of a large group of people, the sort of, like, the tenement houses yeah. that, like, the Lord Ruler had set up are sort of, like, the best for that. Yeah. For trying to, like, keep warm. And conserve resources. So they're like, it's like, tell them to leave. But if they're like, no, don't force them. Right, right, right. But uh, tear up any wood, get the wood, use it for, for fire. Yeah. Um, there's a spy whose name I think we get. But just some spy who's reporting about pass walls and the water grates. Um, trying to find out about like who's poisoning stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he's like, yeah, the like water grates... Someone's definitely gotten through them. Uh, something about, like, the locks. I didn't fully understand. <laughs> I didn't fully understand that bit. Something about, like, the locks and forcing it open, but the locks yeah. are Is still there. Felt? Maybe. Maybe. Who Felt? Yeah. That, that he's talking to? Sure. I don't know who that is. The the you said there's like a spot like working on the yeah, yeah, yeah. The po- poisoned. Uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So so if that's felt and then gotcha. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, have we heard that name before? Has he been like mentioned so. before? I don't think so. Yeah, just just a name, just yeah. some guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's like oh yeah, there's like uh, see, it's like who's going in and out um using the waterways or whatever, and I'm like Ariane question mark because I'm just always suspicious of Ariane. Um, and he's like, lock the grates, like, so they'll yeah, be, like, right. trapped. Right, 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 And so, like, something's gonna come with that, I don't know what. But, um, yeah, I'm like, who's poisoning the stuff? Maybe Ariane's doing it, but also it's like, I don't know, because why would she be going in and out? Set's here, so it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Demu. Demu brings someone from his congregation who claims to have seen a steel inquisitor. And other people have also said that they've seen a Steel Inquisitor, but he kind of, like, dismissed it until this guy said it, and he was like, I trust this guy. Um, and so he's like, yeah, there's been, like, reports of a sighting of a Steel Inquisitor. And I'm like, who? Is it Marsh? Is it something else? But, uh, you know, something Straff-related, perhaps? Yeah. Um, but, like, what's going on? Yeah, hanging around Credit Shaw. Hanging around Credit Shaw. Um, I never realized Ham was shirtless under the vest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, also, there's something about, like, Set being desperate. Because the thing is that I wrote these notes after listening to the chapter. I listened to the whole chapter while I was, like, making myself some food. And then, like, when I was, like, taking a shower. And then, like, after listening, I went back and, like, made a bunch of notes. But there, there's some bit in there where they're talking about how Set's desperate. And how him sort of, like, coming in to the city and setting himself up. Yep. In, the, in that, like, keep was kind of an act of desperation. It was, like, a desperate move. And that, like, he's essentially kind of forced himself into this position of kind of allying with them, right? Right. It's, like, he's in there now with them. Yeah. And he has, like, people there with him. And it's, like, 
so, sort of forcing them to be like, hey, we could, like, I'm already here, and we could, like, work together yeah. against Straff, but also, you know, it's like, he he's kind of desperate. He doesn't have as much good stuff as Straff yeah. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in, in a more sort of precarious situation, which is something that, like, Vin has never quite gotten, because she's always yeah. like convinced that he's like a misborn yeah, yeah. secretly like, there has to be something and and it's like whenever she's at the thing it's like searching for alamancers yeah. and there's like hardly anyone there and she's yeah. like he doesn't have anything yeah. like, he doesn't have that same kind of like stuff um and so he's been like pulling this like desperate move and so like we sort of get this and it's like oh he's like sets like not doing great yeah yeah like yeah, yeah. sets kind of backed into a corner but also straff is you know not coming in because of the whole Vin thing, yes. and also it's like it's like so, so we're still in this kind of like tense stalemate, yeah. uh, which we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and I just think it's funny because they're like, um, Ham's finally like it's gotten cold, and Ham's finally wearing a shirt under his vest. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, Ham yeah. was shirtless under his vest <laughs> the whole time, um, and I just thought that was funny. Yeah. Also, they mention his wife and kids. Yes. Ham's wife and kids. Yes, because they're talking about Ham's wife and kids, and, because um, they're talking about, like, the pass walls and stuff, because uh, Ellen and Ham sneak out. Um, Ellen sneaks out through one of the pass walls that he only just found out about. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know, uh, sneaking the family in and out to, like, see them. Yeah. Um... And, like, he knows the, like, old lady who, like, runs this pass wall and stuff, and they literally just, like, open up a hole in the wall. Yeah. Like, it's funny, because, like, I think pass wall is, like, a, a spell in D&D. Oh, yeah. Where you literally just, like, magically open a hole in a wall that's not too thick. I got you. Um, it's great. Uh, I had a... I ran a campaign one time where I had, like, some wizards in jail... <laughs> Uh, and then, like, the party gets sent to jail with the wizards, and then one of the wizards, like, fucking uses pass wall to, like, break them out. <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> they're a bunch of, like, really high-level wizards. Um, and they're a lower-level party trying to help them, <laughs> essentially. Um, yeah, it, it was a whole, it was a whole thing. But Ellen sneaks out, and he's going to go see yep. Jasties. Yes. And how do you use it? How do you spell Jasties? Um, it's, I believe, let me pull it up. It's like... J-A-S-T-E-S? I believe so. Okay, so I did actually spell it correctly. I just put an extra E on the end. And I was so sure that that was not how it was spelled. Where did it go? I don't know where the name went. There it is. Justice, yeah. Yeah, so I, I fully did spell it correctly. I just put an extra E on the end. Uh. But I was so sure that I was not spelling it correctly that in my notes from then on, I only refer to him as J. <laughs> so Ellen is going to Jasty's camp. Uh, he, he goes up to Kolos and is yep. like, take me to Jasty's. And, and the Kolos is like... Get off your horse. And he's like, take me to Jasty's. Yep. And it's like, according to the stuff that I've read, he's either going to comply or just kill me. Yep. Um, and it starts taking him. And then, and, and he says that the Kolos are human and that they're going to live in their walls. Like... Yeah, so it's, uh, Ellen shivered as he heard yells, telling himself he would probably be alright until he reached, ja reached Jasty's. Kolos usually only attacked each other, unless they got into a blood frenzy. And then they, they talk about... Uh-huh. Um, where is it? Yeah. Uh, we are not Colo Kolos, the lead Kolos suddenly said, turning to Ellen as they walked. Uh, explain. Mm. You think we are Kolos, it said through lips, uh, that were stretched too tightly to work properly. <laughs> We are humans. We will live in your city. We will kill you, and we will take it. Yep. Yep. We're, we are humans. We will live in your city. Um, and I'm so curious about that. Yeah. I'm really curious about that and, like, what that means. Yep. Especially because the Colossus were, like, created. Yeah. But also it's like, is this just is this kind of different from that? Yeah. You know? It's like, does that have anything to do with that? Or is this more just like a we're people kind of a thing? Yeah. You know, we're not just, like, monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's... it's super curious um and then also <laughs> the one that's like leading him to Jasty's picks a fight with one of the other coloss and gets killed by that coloss and then that coloss takes <laughs> takes him to Jasty's. yep yep and it's wild he was never a good leader it said in a slurred voice yeah because it's always like they kill someone and they very calmly give like a reason for it <laughs> even if it's like very minor yep um and uh so, so my next note is Jay got betrayed and fucked up being an idealist because Ellen goes to Jasty's and they start talking. Yeah. 
and Jastis is essentially like, I, I tried doing the things that we said, yeah, and I got fucking super betrayed, yeah. and everyone killed, and it was super horrible, awful. Um, you know, it's like everyone's killed, even the like children um, in your family or whatever. You know, so they kill everyone in your family, uh, and then. Ellen fucking stabs Chastis and tells him to leave. Yeah. He fucking just like he's like leave and he's like no and he fucking stabs him and it's like get the fuck out of here. And he's like listen I was your friend and I fucking could have killed you right now. Uh, these colas aren't you, you can't just like you, you think that you can control these colas but right. like I was your friend and here I am like about to kill yep. you. Yep. Fucking reconsider. Yep. <laughs> and and uh yeah, he's like Yeah, this is it's very uh different for for Alan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, this, this is not normally uh This is not normally how Alan uh, does things, yep. but he's he's changing yep. and he's sort of learning from Vin in a way. Yep. Yep. Uh he fucking just pulls out a dagger yeah. and stabs him. And then a bunch of guards come in, and then he, like, takes them out to, like, the edge of the human camp and the Colossus camp, and yep. then, like, goes, and they're not gonna follow him into the Colossus camp. Yep. Because they're, like, too scared by all the shit going down. And he can't find his horse. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, my horse isn't here. <laughs> uh, and then he and then he kills one of the Colossus. One of the small ones. One of the five-foot Colossus. He he fucking just yeah. stabs the. Sh- I forgot about that. Yeah, he fucking. Yeah, he just like tackles it and kills it. Yeah, he like tackles and stabs yeah, yeah, yeah. it, and there's like a little bit of a tussle, but he like fucking kills it, takes the bag and the sword, and then the Kolas look at him and he goes, "He ate my horse," and then they're just like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> it's just it was sort of like I completely forgot about that. Yeah, and it's just like it was just the first thing that came to my mind to say. He ate my horns. <laughs> they're just like understandable. Have a nice day because because immediately Ellen's like, no, I understand Colas culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're killing each other all the time, and they say yep. that they're humans. Yep. So if I come in here yep. and kill one and a do and do the yep. same thing. I take the pouches, but I also take the sword because yep. that's a part of part of the whole thing. Yep. And also, I say calmly, "This is why I did it." And yep. they're like, "Understandable. Have a nice day." Exactly. <laughs> it's great. And then he's like, "You know what? What's in these bags?" And it's like, uh, "They're being paid." Um, it's like, it's like they're just being paid. But the yep. thing is, is that they got me because it's like it's like he, he was paying them, and he was I'm paying like, them. and I'm like. An ATM question mark? Ah. And it's like, no, he's literally yep. Yep. just yep. fucking yep. paying yep. them. That's, I guess, technically, you know, more more later. But whenever it was just like, they're being, Pay. like, he's yep. paying them, I'm like, okay, but in what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought that there was going, I thought that we intentionally weren't saying because it was. Because, yeah, because, yeah. Because, you know, yeah. it's like, I'm like, is this where all the ATM is? Yeah. But then it's like, within well, how would he have? So much ATM. Right. That doesn't make any sense. But I was just like, what, what is he paying them in? And, yep. And, you know. and, yep. Yeah. Um, but but that's that's literally like the very end yep. of chapter yeah, yeah, yeah. of chapter forty two is him being like, you know, Jasty's paying them. <laughs> he was paying them. So do you have anything anything else? I don't think so. Yeah. I like when Ellen was just like, Alright, time <laughs> to fight this colossus, I'm just like, Oh boy. Oh baby, this is quite the choice, my guy. Yeah, yeah. This is Ellen's big fucking badass moment. Because mm-hmm. I think he gets like a little bit fucked up by this encounter. Because yeah. like he doesn't just like one shot kill. He no, he doesn't no, no, just no. like stab and then they're dead. There's a bit of like a, a tussle. Yeah, because yeah. Because then then he goes like knife v sword basically. Yes, and he's like, there's only one way to to win. Yeah. Um, and he's like, that wasn't Vin or any of the other things that, like, told him that he just, like, yep. I guess it's just sort of, like, instinct. Yep. like, you gotta get in, get close, in close and kill quick. Which is true. It's when, when you know, um, there, there was a, there, there's this channel called The Modern Rogue, uh, where they, they do a bunch of different stuff. Um, you know, things like, uh, what, what they call science adjacent. <laughs> um... As well as, like, various, like, martial arts kind of things. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, like yeah. They, they have a whole thing. It's, like, you know, like a rogue, like in D&D almost. Yeah, you know, yeah, where yeah. it's, like, here's, like, they have things, like, 
ordering drinks, like, and making different kinds of drinks, and, like, bar culture, but then also, like, fighting stuff, and then also, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. survivalist kind of stuff. Just, like, a whole sort of mishmash of loosely related yeah. um, subjects, and they, they, they've learned various sort of, like, HEMA historical European martial arts mm. stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and they're, they're, like, with these guys who are, like, teaching them, like, sword fighting and these other things, and it's, like, um, and, and I don't remember exactly how one, but it's, like, you know, they, they have, they're, like, with the swords in the bind, and they're, like, up close to each other. Yeah. And it's, like, <laughs> it's, like, you know who, who wins in a sword fight? And then he, like, drops the sword and, like, grabs him. It's, like, yep. the person who f- realizes that it's a grapple. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, when you have the, yeah. a big part of swords is distance yep. it's keeping the distance and like you you go in for for like the attack or whatever yep. but it's like if you get in so close that they the, can't then you, you can't do anything with it you don't have yeah. leverage or, or like <laughs> yep it's like the person who now realizes that it's a knife yep. fight <laughs> yeah it's like you have your like side dagger and getting yep. close get them right between the plates if you can you know if you can or or just grappling it's like yep. if i can get you on the floor <laughs> suddenly that sword's a little bit less useful <laughs> if i can just close the distance yep. and, and get you down um was it's like most fights end up on the ground <laughs> it like it just true of a, of a lot of fights yeah um like you know people getting into like bar fights and stuff yep. it's like yeah you know, it's hard to stay on your feet. <laughs> yep, it's like ninety percent of serious fights end up on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, which is why like um certain types of martial arts um are, are sort of like known for like doing better on the ground. Yeah. Like once you end up on the floor in that situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Learning how to yeah, do Yeah, you those. wanna get like ways to get like out of holds and, mm-hmm. and like stuff like that. Yep. I mean like the grapple. Like honestly, like Yep. Y- Making it so the other person can't move mm-hmm. is a good thing. Yep, you know it's, it's, then that's that's the best. You know, yep. In a, in a one-on-one fight, that's what you want. You know, it's one of those things where it's like in warfare, where it's right. you and a bunch of other people. Or you can't you're, focus on. It's like you're in some sort of like a formation. Yep. But in that case, usually, because here's the thing: if you're talking about war, yeah. mostly it's like pole arms. Yep. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know, you do have like knights, people in full plate, yeah. people with swords, but it's also like I can't wait to talk about Stormlight with you. I'm so <laughs> excited to talk about Stormlight, right? Well, because it's like most of warfare is about like archery yeah. and pole yeah, yeah, yeah. arms and shields and formations yep. and all these sorts of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, um, because it's just like distance yeah distance is so important if i can kill you before you can get to me i win yeah which is why archers are great but also why people hate archers everyone hates archers because they can kill you before you can get to them yeah and so that's why it's like the greeks are like archers are a bunch of fucking cowards (laughs) the the the, like english longbowmen the french are like fuck them we hate them so much (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like it's just like all this kind yep, of stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like archers are the best. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's very wheel of time as well. Like mm-hmm. it's the the two rivers, like longbow yep. shooters, like they're like mm-hmm. they're quite uh, yeah. renowned and use and, and, mm-hmm. and useful and stuff. And then like spear formations, stuff mm-hmm. like that is like super like important. And even just like li- like literally like fucking D and D. Like being a caster means that you have range. Yep. And like. Being a melee fighter in D and D, you have to get up to them yep. and then hit them, and then you're not even doing as much damage as if you just <laughs> fucking cast fireball on them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which, which is why, like, if you're like a D and D optimization nerd, it's like yeah, melee yeah, yeah. fighter. It's just not the best. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. everyone should be a wizard. <laughs> We're all just wizards, and we we just like <laughs> go around throwing spells you know just like hit them with web hit them with uh fucking hypnotic pattern i'm playing my first spellcaster tomorrow yes you're gonna be you're gonna be an artificer yep so we'll, we'll see uh, we'll see how i do the 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 artificer the most um underloved class by wizards of the coast ah yeah Artificer was added later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, and, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. It's like Artificer was added later, and they added, like, one extra, like, subclass to it later as yeah. well. And then in their, like, 
new updated D and D rule stuff. They haven't done anything with Artificer, uh, and so people are that's like, "Sad." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like that's a good time to like you know kind of add to that, right? Because they're like, Here, here's some of like the core stuff, but also it's like I don't know. Because the thing is, I haven't seen a ton about the specifics of the new D and D. Yeah, but I just know that like. It's, it's, like, it's supposed to be compatible with 5th edition. Yeah. But also they're, like, maybe combining, like, they're maybe just making Barbarian a subclass of, of Fighter or something like that. Interesting. I don't know. There, there, there was some sort of talk about, like, a class becoming just a subclass yeah. of another class fully. And it's, like... Because there's, like, a few different... There's a lot of different Barbarian, like, subclasses. Yeah, So yeah. I'm, like... Yeah, I, I, I don't... And then, like, I, I could be fully wrong about this stuff. Yeah, but just, yeah. like, th there's some major changes that are... That, like, it's, like, just make a new edition. Yeah. Just yeah. make a new edition. Yep, and people can decide which ones they want to do. If they don't want to do the new one, then they don't do the new one. They continue with five. Mm -hmm. You know, like, that's happened before. It's happened before. And it's, you know... <laughs> yep, it's, like, just make a new edition. And, like, people... Like, people... And some people will use it. Mm -hmm. or, or they'll i'll adapt it to to five you yep. know like it's yep it's like it's people just, will probably still buy the stuff it's yeah. just you know like, mm -hmm. like just call it a new edition just call it a new edition it's <laughs> fine you can you you can do that you're allowed <laughs> you know but anyway yeah. is that our first uh long tangent i think so i think that's our first major tangent and of the i episode. think our first D, &D tangent yeah we it's, it's funny that we haven't talked about like D, &D as much on on this show yeah but uh Oh, uh, and, and of course, uh, we have to mention that, like, the D&D &D that yes. we're doing is it's One Piece. piece. <laughs> it's One Piece themed. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna be a tontada. Yes. <laughs> You're like, can I be a tontada? <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> Race? What? You're a gnome, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, so that's fun. Yep. You can be a little tontada on top of a... Little... I was telling my parents about it. Yeah? Yeah, because they, they watched the One Piece live action, mm -hmm. and so when season two comes out, my, my dad's gonna mm -hmm. gonna watch it and stuff. And I'm so excited. Me too. I'm so excited for season also, two. my dad is not an anime fan. He will yeah. never watch anime. Mm -hmm. Like, so it makes me so happy <laughs> that it, like, got him yeah, to... Yeah, to, to actually, like, watch One Piece, watch, essentially. And he really enjoys it. Yeah. And, which is, you know, mm -hmm. it's great. See, and see now... I have a place where I can talk about that. I'm so excited <laughs> for season two, and then yes. I'm so happy that in season two we're not getting to Alabasta. Yes. Because like I know there's people who like because you want to get to Alabasta yes. so quickly, but it's, it's like oh Alabasta. It's like oh, Alabasta, but no, I'm so glad that they're not getting to Alabasta yeah. in season two, and that essentially probably Alabasta is just going to be all of season yes, three, which is exactly what it needs. Yeah. It needs the room. Just yeah, it, like I'm I'm just happy that it's going to have like the room, and it's yeah. like we're gonna because the thing is that because like some people because you've been talking to me a little yeah, bit about some it. Some people are like oh we're really gonna leave off with like one of the worst one piece villains we're really gonna end the season with wapple and it's like this wapple's not the point of the arc right per se. it's he's because like, oh, yeah, he's gonna... not a threat that's kind of the point it's, yeah it's not the point of the arc <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it, it's just one of those things where it's just like i don't know like t t tell me that you don't care about the themes of one right, piece right, without right. telling me that you don't care about the <laughs> themes of one piece you know it's like it's like yes but like i don't know because also like wapple as a villain is more of an ideological villain yes. than he is like a, a physical, physical threat yeah. yep and that's fine like like the <laughs> again you know it's like in drum island the the getting up the mountain is is more of the challenge. Oh yes, way more of the challenge. The fight is like a fun, like getting your energy out afterwards. It's, yeah, like you know. <laughs> it's it's like the the fight is just like Luffy trouncing this this clown, yep. and it's a clown that we can't wait to see yep. trounced. Yep. So and it's we, perfect. And, and we we don't think he would have trouble with it. We no. know from the beginning he wouldn't have trouble with it. No. It was the getting up to to save his friends that was the, the literally issue. the arc starts with him not having trouble with it. Yep. Like literally the arc starts with Wapple showing up and Luffy just blasting him off yep. like Team Rocket, yep. no problem. Yep. Like, it, like we know from the start that he's not going to be, but that's not the point of the yep. arc, yep. you know? And it's just like, like Wapple's more of a villain in flashback yeah. for these people because of these, like, sort of socio-political things yep. and the ways in which Wapple has control over... It's just, it's so good. Yep. And, like, it's, it's such a good 
arc, and we're and I gonna... think it'll hit really well with like the healthcare stuff. Like, yes. it's, it's like a huge mm-hmm. like. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> the the whole thing is just like privatized healthcare essentially. Yep, exactly. Like, you know, <laughs> um, it's very pointed. <laughs> yes, it's like <laughs> you know c- controlling access to healthcare and whatnot. Yep. Um, and how that makes you evil and the worst of the worst, and yep. like <laughs> mm-hmm. denying other people access exactly. to healthcare and like. You know, it's like in order for you to get healthcare, you have to come to him and yep. beg him for it, and like give him an exorbitant amount of money, yep. or pay Kray an exorbitant amount exactly. of money. Yep. And it's like Kray has like a good doctor, but she's not necessarily a great person. person. Yep. But like she, you know, she's a com like, like so many One Piece characters is more complex than just a good person or a bad person. Yep. And it's like I and honestly think... don't know how well she would be able to survive. Like yeah. In that in that climate, because mm-hmm. they're like they're like hunting. Doctors yeah, they're, they're or like whatever. hunting doctors like, without kind of doing so mm-hmm. like. Yeah, she is horrible to those people. I, I, you know, but right, yeah, yeah. There it, is a bit more. Yeah, there, there, there's more to it than that. Um, because also it's like she comes in and and she heals the person. She, she's yep. got a bit of that like Nami. Oh yeah. Where it's like Nami is always like you, you owe me a bunch of money, yes. but then like you know never really like collects. I'm yep. sure that Kureha collects to some degree. Yeah. But yeah, like yeah. you know, it, it, it's yeah, it, it's just one of those things where, um, I think that like. There's the sort of anime audience that cares about the, like, big fights and the, like, oh, is the villain, like, oh, you know, like, you know, these sort of power scaling motherfuckers and the sort of, like, shonen anime fuckers who only really care about the big fights, who get disappointed by Wapole. But I feel like, you know, the the sort of One Piece live action audience isn't the typical anime audience. They're... TV, they're, they're, they're more like, you know, Netflix TV audience yep. where, you know, they're, they're watching shows like that don't even have that kind of stuff normally. Right. So I feel like they'll probably. They're not going to even, even yeah. miss it in the same way that. Yeah. yeah that, you're that, right. You're mm, right. That, that like these sort of like anime fans will, because yep. it's like one piece is a very sort of like non-standard sort of shown in yep. battle anime because it's like more than just a shown in battle yep. anime. Like it's like, there's plenty of shown in battle anime who are. Like about being a shonen battle anime, yep. and that's great. Yes, like yep. that's great, <laughs> and you're doing your thing. You have the cool fights, yep. the powers, power, friendship. Yep. There's world building. There's oh, lore. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. like you like, know, Fairy Tale was one of my first anime. Yeah. I love Fairy Tale, but it is very it's shonen mm-hmm. battle anime. It's, yeah, you know, like <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just like here's the thing. Like one, like Naruto is great because it does these like you you get all the cool ninja shit yep. you could ever ask yep. for and like it's a cool world and there's all this sort of shit but like story wise there's a lot of things that are like that do, like why and yep. like these characters it, it does well on the thematics yeah. I, feel, I feel like it does themes pretty mm-hmm. well but like yeah. not necessarily like like Mm-hmm. cohesive story yeah and also it's like it's not fair for me to sort of shit on naruto as much as i do because like i watched naruto up until a point but because i was watching it like on tv yeah at a certain point it kind of like it, you know it's hard to like keep up with i got tired in the final war arc See, unfortunately i, I don't think, i don't think i even got there no i don't you i don't think you did. i don't think i got anywhere close no because it's like because yeah I, I don't know like What's even the last thing that I remember? I, I don't know. Because it's like, I, I never even got to, like, pain or whatever the fuck. Right. right or right. what's his dude with the fucking swirly yeah. mask? Yeah, Toby. Toby. Yeah. I never got to Toby. because yeah, that's all on Shippuden. I don't know if, if you've watched Shippuden. Like, if I watched Shippuden, I watched the littlest bit of the beginning of Shippuden. Yeah. Like, what's the first thing in Shippuden? Um, him and... Uh, Jira- sorry, Jiraiya and Naruto come back to the Hidden Leaf Village. After, like, training and yeah. stuff? And, like, after he learns how to do, like, Rasengan and whatnot? I-, I think, yes, but he trains more. So uh-huh. it- it's it's a- it's it's later than that. It's a okay. different time they go off training. Yeah, because I think, like, one of the last things I really remember is, like, fucking... The- Just, like, learning the... Well, it's, like, um, Jiraiya, Orochimaru, yes. and Tsunade... Are like each on the back of their giant summon yes. thing fighting I'm each other. Pretty sure that's the end of Naruto. Yeah, and like, like the original series. And like Rock Lee is drunk and fighting Bone Dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's in the Sasuke Retrieval arc. Yeah. Which is also like original Naruto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like those are some of the like the last things that I really like remember. Yeah. Like I remember 
that like I never saw the end of Rock Lee fighting that guy, but that may be just because like I missed episodes. And I remember that they were like gonna have their big fight where like Tsunade is on the giant slug and yes. he's on the giant toad yep. and Orochimaru's on the giant snake. Right. And like that stuff's going on. But I don't remember how that like ended okay. <laughs> per se. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like those are some of like the last things that I kind of remember from like watching Naruto like on you know, fucking Toonami or yeah. whatever back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, If it was even Toonami or just, like, some other part of, you know... Yeah. You know, Cartoon Network's programming block, you know. Um, that's, like, the last thing I really remember about Naruto. So, like, I know some of the stuff that happens later, just sort of, like, through osmosis. Yep. Through, like, looking at some stuff on the wikis. Yeah. Because I was, like, interested, and then, yeah. like... And then just being around, like, the anime. Yeah, just being, like, around the anime community stuff, and, like, at one point, someone at work was, like, trying to, like, talk about, like, uh, like, Naruto and stuff, because, like, him and this other guy were, like, arguing about Naruto, and it was like, why is he, why do you fucking do this thing? It's like, well, because this thing. is like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, uh, uh, uh. Talking about, like, that one dude who's got all the fucking, like, sharing guns yes. in his arm or whatever. Uh, Genzo, maybe? And it's like, why did fucking Itachi, like do the shit that Itachi did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because he had to, because this thing's like, that doesn't make any sense. Why did you... <laughs> it's like, he betrayed his whole... But then he's also like, oh, Sasuke, like, if you're gonna, like, not... In, let's, then just don't do it at all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get that far. <laughs> I didn't get that far. But, but you know, it's like... Naruto has its flaws. It has its good things. Yeah. They all do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like... One Piece just feels more sort of like cohesive yeah, and like tightly written yeah. in terms, in this way that you don't expect because it's like because it is so long. You, you're mm-hmm. like, how can it be like tightly written? You yeah, know, like <laughs> you know, it, it's one of those things where it's like it's so long, and these like long anime like that, they have this sort of like idea of like, oh, they've just been going on and they're just flying by the seat of their pants and whatnot. But it's like, no, like there, there's actually like a full cohesive story yeah. here. It it seems. A bit like, so like the, like, kind of back to Sanderson, because like, mm-hmm. I watched some of his lectures, like writing lectures and stuff. Yeah, 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 um, which we should watch more of those. Yeah, and he'll, he'll talk about, like, kind of outlining versus, mm-hmm. uh, like, um, discovery writing, which right, the, other, right. the other way to put it is, like, uh, I think maybe King has the, the label Panzer, because you said f- flying by the cedar pants. Yeah, Panzer yeah. or... Like, planners versus... Panthers, and yeah. there's also like architects versus gardeners. Yes, yeah, that's the that's a another one. It's it's, it's all kind mm-hmm. of the same thing for yeah, for, yeah. for the same concept or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it feels like One Piece has been mm-hmm. like outlined yeah, in yeah, a yeah. way that a lot of those other long running series don't. Right. Yeah. 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 Because that's one of the things with like Dragon Ball. Is that as Dragon Ball went on, it's just sort of yep. like, and here's a new thing, and here's a new thing, and yep. here's a new thing. And and also, like, the editors being like, you should do this, you should do that. And him sort of, like, making these changes. Yep. Some of which people were like, that was for the better. Others, people say that was probably not for the better. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of people are like, we should have just ended with Cell and not gone on to Boo. But Boo was still very popular. Yeah. Um, because we watched Totally Not Mark's video yep, about yep. the big three and about where the big three that comes from. That was a super interesting video. Super interesting video. Highly recommend yep. checking it out if you're interested in, yep. in that sort of, in that sort of thing. Yeah. Because it's not really what I would have, like, sort of expected. Yep, yeah. Um, it's, it's just, like, these popularity polls that aren't even that, like... Yep sort of conducive, you know, it's just sort of like in the Shonen Jump, you can yeah, send in the send popularity in the, yeah, poll yeah, yeah. thing. It's basically how the, all the, like, character popularity polls mm-hmm. are done and stuff for, for, yeah, for Shonen yeah, yeah. Jump and, and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's like, they, they were popular in the popularity polls, which lets you know that, like, nerds who really cared, yes. cared about them, yep. which is fitting yep. yeah, <laughs> that yeah, they yeah, would yeah. then become the big three the big, and that yes. the nerds online would all be talking about them and stuff because, it was, you know, it's like, this is only... Like, because this isn't sales numbers. This is just people who yep. care enough to fill this out and send it in. Yep. Put these ones at the top. Um, and then later, sales figures start being a thing that people apply to yes. them because it's sort of a hindsight thing. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, they're so popular, so they must have just been mm-hmm. selling the best at the time. And, you know. Yep. And, but... and, and then the guy was like, probably the modern, quote, big three... It was more of a big two, yeah. and it's Jujutsu Kaisen and um, Demon Slayer, yeah. and then the third one would be One Piece. Yes, yeah. So they, they kind of talk about it like, uh, like because like big three, uh, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, and then 
uh, Dragon Ball at the top, yeah. and then uh, mm -hmm. Big Two with One Piece, like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen and uh, mm -hmm. Demon Slayer, and then One Piece. Yeah, 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 because yeah. like Jujutsu Kaisen has been huge. Yeah, everyone everyone knows about Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. And, like, but like they're both it. newer, and then mm -hmm. with an older, longer running series, and then the three mm -hmm. newer, like like Big Three when they were newer, mm -hmm. with the longer running Dragon Ball. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and, and so it's like um, it's interesting because it's like because like um, Demon Slayer they had like Mugen Train. Yeah. Um, and that was like yep. a movie. Like I saw that. I movie. saw that in theaters. I saw that in theaters. There was. I like, read the manga, so I knew it was coming, and it still made me cry. I I didn't, uh, um, but like, see, I was like, there was basically no one in the theater, but that's because I saw it like pretty much the last day mm -hmm. that it was going to be in that theater, um, and so but everyone had already seen it who was going to see it at that point, basically, yeah. and so then I watched it, and like, I enjoyed first season of Demon Slayer, we should watch, like... Demon Slayer and Jujutsu. Yeah. We have yeah, so yeah. much anime we, to we watch. We have a lot of anime to watch. Like, it's crazy. Um, yeah. But anyway, this is... We should is... probably get back to the book that... Yes. ...that we're... Uh, abstent... Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. I tried to say that word and it didn't happen. Yeah. Ostensibly. Ostensibly. Gotcha. Was what I attempted to say and it didn't work. Yeah. It, it'll, it'll happen yeah. sometimes. See, what we just need is just like a separate podcast where we just talk about stuff. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, yeah, about, yeah. like... Yeah, we should put in a little segment here of, like, uh, <laughs> anime tangent. <laughs> anime tangent. Oh, God, if I have to start uh, <laughs> chapter marking our tangents, oh, it's gonna no. be a whole... It's gonna be a whole thing. Um, but anyway, we had just finished chapter 42. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so now we're on to chapter 43. Yeah. Hopefully we weren't in the middle of anything... When no, we were that tangent. I don't think so, because okay. I think that we just kind of like had finished and then just started like talking yeah. about some shit. Yeah, 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 I don't know. I don't remember how exactly we got started <laughs> on that tangent. Me, me neither. But it's fine. Yeah. You know. oh, I think we we're talking about the col coloss and fighting Ellen, and so then we yeah, got to yeah. knife fighting. And, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. D and D, yeah, yeah. and then and then back to you yeah. are you are correct. You are very much correct <laughs> about that. Um. But yeah. Uh. Chapter 43, mm -hmm. uh, I have Vin stands in Ellen's balcony. Yep. Uh, Vin feels bad. She couldn't keep Ellen safe. Uh, why do I feel so alone? Talk to him! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk to him! It's like, why do I feel so alone? Because you're not fucking talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I, I'm, I'm sympathetic, but also, just fucking talk to him. Um, oh, I didn't remember that Zane told him it was Demu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zane's like, oh, it's Demu. It's Demu. Yeah, De Demu's the... And she goes, that makes no sense. <laughs> yep. She's like, like, I already checked him. I already checked Demu. <laughs> um, yeah, I have Orsara's right. Don't do this. Fuck Zane. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. Uh, boy, howdy. Orsara sure is right. Do not, do not do this. Yeah. Because Zane's like... Let's go fuck up set, and we've yeah. and like we just learned like no sets in like this desperate position. And he could maybe help us, yeah. or you know, just sort of depending on how things go. He's part of what's keeping this sort of balance. Yeah. And then Zane's like, "Let's go fuck up set because set some those assassins. Remember, yeah. you want to go hurt him." And and she's like, feels bad because she couldn't keep Ellen safe. It's like yeah. Ellen's allowed to make his own decisions, but also like, yeah. you know, she's like. It's supposed to be keeping him safe, and I couldn't do it. I can't do anything. And so she's like, gonna go do this thing. Zane and Vin go on a killing spree. Yep, yep. Here I go killing again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Vin, just kick off the war tonight. It'll be fine, yeah. was my note. It's like, yeah, Vin, just, like, and, and this isn't supposed to just kick off the war now? Like, all the yep. fighting's gonna start? Because you, you, you've... This is a, a definitive act of aggression against one of the other combatants. Yeah. Yeah, and we start the thing with, like, just seeing these, like, two guards, like, mm -hmm. these random-ass guards that, yep. she, that she kills. Yeah, because it's, like, one of the guards is, like, scared of the mist. Yeah. Um, and it's, like, there's, like a, whole, like, a little bit from, like, his perspective, yep. and then just, like, coins. Yep. And there's a bunch of people die. Yep. And then, and then she fucking comes in. Uh, and I, <laughs> I don't have any notes about her murdering the fuck out of everyone, but there's yeah. some really cool stuff in there, like, when she, like, she shoots, like, a bunch of coins, kills the whole front line of people, and then, like, 
pushes their bodies into yeah the rest of the people with like duralumin while she's like blasting herself out of the room or whatever yep and it's cool as shit she's just fucking murdering folks left and right yeah and they kind of brace like each other basically yes. to like mm-hmm. do some of like the pushes right it's like and they stuff. feel like a coin in between and they yep. both push on the coin and then both push on everything else around yep. so they're pushing on each other through the coin yep. and everything it's it's like cool stuff it's one of those things there's always all this like cool action stuff going on but like i don't have any like notes about yep. it ever yeah, yeah, yeah but like so it has n- honestly that's like a a a, a, hallmark, a hallmark of uh, mm-hmm. good action uh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Mm-hmm. can't quite can't, can't quite take notes wow i'm trying to speak mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it it just like it was it was really cool but i'm also just like oh boy yeah um yeah. Set has no Alamancers no. except Arianne. They all died in the initial assassination yep. attempt against Vin at the beginning of the book. So it's like he has literally no oh, Alamancers. All the Alamancers that she was like seeing and stuff were just like plants. Yep. They weren't even like his people. Yep. He had he had nothing this whole time. Um and she like And Straff didn't set that up. Like that like that was Zane. That was Zane. That was fully <laughs> you know? Zane. Because Zane's well, I'll get into it, but yep. like sets there and sets sons there and she just like knocks him away and then she's like fight me <laughs> he can't he, no he's he he, he's, he can't walk nope. and like the son tries to like and she's just like this is pathetic she doesn't say that yeah. or like but but that's essentially she's like she yeah, yeah, yeah. and pathetic in the sense of she feels pathos yep. <laughs> like she feels yes. like, like oh like what am i doing yep like what am i doing like this is you know i'm so like oh this and and, and it's super interesting yep. and, and then zane fucking just shoots the nails out of the wall yeah <laughs> he like fully like bursts the nails out of the wall and like comes through the wall which which made me go does Zane have Duralumin somehow? Um, and they don't kill him. Zane still sucks, is what I have. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, because Zane's like, you really are blah, 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 fucking whatever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Like, he, yeah, yeah. he has one of his Zane lines about how she's, you know, stupid or whatever. Yeah. Um, and, and she doesn't kill him and fucks off. Uh, and, and that's, that's all the notes that I have. But yeah, it's like... It was super interesting having this whole... Because she's like, fight me. And he, and he, like, throws, like, a punch and doesn't even do anything. Yeah. And she's just like... <laughs> she's like, this, is, this isn't this is fair. Yep. Um, yeah, it's like, she, she wants to, like, do something and be, like, useful. But she's been, like, tricked into doing this yes. thing by, by Zane. And I yep. was so glad when she didn't actually do it. Yep. Um, the, but, but there's still a little bit of the whole, like, you know... It's like, oh, so we're going to kill all those people and not kill Set? Yeah. Um, but it's also, like, you know... Yep. Uh, fucking... It's kind of already done. Yeah. Which is... Mm-hmm. You can't take that back. Can't take that back. You know? <laughs> yep. And so, and so she disappears. Yep. Um, and, uh... Yep. Yeah, Zane's line, uh... He still controls you then, he said. That's what it was. Sounding disappointed. I thought maybe if you could fight and see exactly how powerful you were, you'd shake yourself free of Ellen's grip. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> yep. Yep, and so I'm like, Zane still fucking sucks. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's uh, that's all that I have for chapter 43. Yep. Do you have anything you want to talk about with this chapter? No. Alrighty. And so then, chapter 44, Breeze is watching Set's army retreat, and sees that Clubs is nervous, uh, and Clubs is like, if... Straff pulls back. The Coloss will probably just attack because yep. they're not like sort of trained in the same way as like the army and stuff. They'll just you know they're they're Coloss. They'll just yep. attack. Yep. Um, which we now know that like they're being paid, and so there's this whole thing where like I'm like, well maybe Ellen can just pay them. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah, the yeah. fake money. Yeah. Like you know, like Justice. Like Justice was. You know, it's like maybe he could just like. You know, because it's like, it's like, oh, it's just like wooden money. Um, although I, I think that's actually something that, like, uh, at this exact point I didn't know about yet, but, like, sort of gets mentioned yeah. later. Um, uh, yeah, what point does Ellen sort of, like, mention that, that it's uh, fake money? I think it is this chapter that he, like, uh, 
realizes not realizes but just sort of like there's a whole thing it's like oh it's a fake coin or whatever yeah 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 Yeah, i think it's like wooden painted. yeah it's like wood painted gold um but anyway uh if Straff pulls back, the Coloss will attack, yep. and then Straff can come in and win against the weakened enemy. And uh, this is sort of clarified a bit more later, but like if, if he waits until the Coloss are destroying everything and then comes in, he'll be a savior. He'll, he'll have saved yep. everyone, yep. and they'll care more about the fact that he saved them than he's then, yes. this whole like tyranny thing. You know, it's just like, oh, you know, thank goodness it's not the Coloss yep. anymore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so. Uh, there's um ham and ellen are talking about the whole vin set thing <laughs> and set had a thousand men and vin took 30 percent their casualties yeah. in less than 10 minutes 300 300 About 300 and uh ellen goes that's not as bad as i feared mm-hmm. and and then ham's like ellen yep, yep like most armies will like retreat and break apart and stuff if they yep. take 30 yep percent casualties like you know like this is this is huge actually and so it's like why don't we just have Vin go fucking fight the army then if that's how it's gonna go um but uh yeah, Vin's missing. Vin yep. has not come back. Yeah. She's she's missing. Uh and so Ellen. Yep. And Spook goes, She's loony. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which is like he's he had like a, a big crush on her and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Um and Ellen's like, I don't really know what to say to that. Yeah, like I'm not really sure why she did it. She did mention she didn't believe the assassins from the assembly came from my father. Mm-hmm. And and Ham's like, She's unstable. It's like more stable than 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 you think or whatever. Yeah. Uh and Vin's also supernaturally strong. Yeah. It seems. Like he he he's like Ham's like, How'd she take a hit from a thug? Like that, and yeah. just be like, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, well, you know, she was burning pewter. It's like, yeah, he's a thug. He was probably also burning pewter. If they were both flaring pewter, it should have essentially canceled out. And then she's like, not even a hundred pounds, getting full force hit by a trained soldier. Yep. That should have like done more damage to her. But she's like fine, and she seems to just like be more powerful. Because when she's like killing all those people, super powerful yeah. in a way that like Zane, when Zane shows up, he's got like blood on him and, and she's like, oh, it's someone else's blood. But like Zane had been like burning ATM. Yeah. Like Zane, while he was doing all that shit, was like burning ATM. Like how many people did Zane kill? Yeah. You know, it's like, I don't know. Uh, but, but Vin's supernaturally strong uh, and Jay gave the Coloss fake gold. But here it is. That, yeah. that, there's where my note is. Jay gave the Coloss fake gold to pay them. And then um, Orser is like, hey, I think I found Vin. Uh, and so then takes Ellen to go find Vin. He knew where she was because he followed her and saw sort of like generally the direction she went off in that night and then just like was looking for her, which again shows that he's kind of like going out of his way to like find her yeah. in this way that he perhaps doesn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and she's at Cayman's old hideout. Yep. She's just like in a little nook, just like curled up looking through like a peephole. And, uh, she's playing with her earring. Yeah. And she, uh, tells Ellen about the earring and about her past, and she's like, yeah. death. Yeah. She, t- she sat twisting something between her fingers, and she, and she was looking at the wall into, the, into a narrow hole. Ellen could see sunlight shining through. It's a peephole to watch the street below. Um, oops. Oh, yeah. Um, just, uh... Uh, talking about the earring. Did I ever tell you how I got this? She asked. He shook his head. My mother gave it to me. I don't remember it happening. Reen told me about it. My mother, she heard voices sometimes. She killed my baby sister, slaughtered her, and the the same day she gave me this, one of her own earrings, as if if choosing me over my sister. A punishment for one, a twisted present for the other. I wonder if it's the same voice that talks to Zane. Mm. Because... I'll get into more of why I think that later, yeah. but, like, it's always been, like, I don't know that Zane's, like, crazy. Like, yeah. he hears this voice, but there's, like, something up with that. Yeah. Like, the idea that he's just, oh, he's just actually... Yeah, and he's like, I know I'm crazy, but, you Yeah, know. it's just like, oh, no, this is just actually supposed to be a portrayal of schizophrenia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, like, I, I kind of doubted that, um, and so it's like, I wonder if they're sort of related. Even if it's not necessarily exactly the same voice, if they're sort of related somehow. The voice that she was hearing, and the voice that, like, Zane hears. Yeah. Um, and then, just another, my entire life has been death, Ellen. 
Um, the death of my sister, Avreen, crew, me crew members were murdered around me. Kelsier, uh, falling to the Lord Ruler, then my own spear in the Lord Ruler's chest. I try to protect, uh, and tell myself that I'm escaping it all. And then I do something like I did last night. Yep. Yep. She's, she's really broken up about it, and she... Yep. Th there's some really interesting yeah, stuff here. Like, I just want to, like, like... You had a good reason to do what you did. No, I didn't. I just wanted to hurt them. I wanted to scare them, make you leave them alone. Like, there was... Yep. I was just, you know... Yeah, make them leave you alone. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because yep. I think you said make you leave them alone. Oh, did I? Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, and it's super interesting because she's like, Cayman, I used to think that he was, like, just, like, an evil man. Yeah. You know, it's like, but, like, I killed way more people last night than he probably ever killed ever. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's like, oh, it's different. They're, like, enemy combatants. And it's like, does that really <laughs> help? It's like, he's trying to, like, help her feel better about it. Yes. But she's like, no, like, I legitimately, like, did something yep. really bad. Yeah. Um, and, like, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, she, <laughs> she was she was tricked into doing it, but it right. is also still, like, this thing that she has to, like, sort of reckon with. Yeah. Because she was, like, she, she was convinced to do it. She yep. thought it was the right thing to do at the time. Yeah. And she was tricked into believing that, but it's still just, like, you know, this whole thing. Um... Uh, and, and, then, and then she's like, you know, I have to go do this, like, Hero of Ages stuff. I forget exactly how she, like, puts it, how, how she, like, starts talking about it, but she's, like, you know, uh, essentially talks about, um... Yeah, she's like, I think I think I have to leave Luthadel. Yeah. Uh, to go north to Terrace. Yep. Gotta go north to Terrace. And so I have, uh, going through a crisis? Try being the Messiah. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Surely you won't regret becoming the Messiah. Um, I, I do like this scene with Vin and Ellen, though. Um, it, it's just, like, I don't know, it's super interesting. Like, yeah. It's like, they're actually, like, talking. They're not yes. talking quite about that sort of relationship stuff, but it's, like, it's But nice. it's still the kind of stuff that they needed to, to get yes. out, you know? Yeah, because this whole thing, it's, like, I about him trusting her yeah. and being, like, you know, I'm gonna trust your decision, and it's, like, but, like, yeah. you don't even know what it is, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna, gonna trust you, and it's, like... Oh, you're so much more capable than me. Like, don't say that. And it's like, okay. <laughs> it's like, but but still, you know, I trust you. Um, is, is sort of the point. I'm like, <laughs> I would like if you're like, okay. But like, why? I, I would like to understand why I shouldn't say things like that for the purpose of like, you, you know, because one of the things where it's like, in a situation, it's like, it, it can feel weird sometimes. You're like, why? Why can't? But it's like, it's like no, 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 like. I, I need to understand the reason why this makes you uncomfortable so yes. as to avoid doing other things like it to make you uncomfortable. I need to have an accurate understanding of the actual root of your discomfort yes. so that I can, like, better communicate with you. And so, like, I would like a little bit more of them sort of, 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 him sort of being like, but why? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, 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 it's still, like, it's still, like, works. Um, and it's good, you know, it's like, oh, I don't need to know why, I just trust you, and yeah. it was like, yeah. I'd like, <laughs> I'd like it if you could have that conversation, please, um, for my sake. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then, uh, she threw up the ATM bead, because <laughs> she had the ATM, yes. and, uh, in her last night, she, like, swallowed it, but didn't use it, and yeah. so I was like, what's up with that, and then it's like, here's the bead, and, like, she just throw it up, and yeah. then like, yeah, I forced it back up, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I guess she did. Um, and then, and then she gives it to Orser. She's like, here, yep. Orser, hold on to this. Yep. Any, uh, yeah. Yep. It's like, it's a, it's a big enough bead that an Alamancer could, uh, could take it. Yep. Um, and, and, yeah, cause, cause she was like, here, you take it. And he was like, no, you take it. Cause you could still be in like danger yes. and stuff and yeah, would yeah, need yeah. it. And so then she's like, here, Orser, you take it. Yeah, so like, hold so on to it. Yeah, give it to me if I need it. Yep. And then, uh, and that's the last thing that I have for chapter 44. Do you have anything else that you would like to talk about? Nope. Alrighty. Chapter 45. Hero of Ages won't be Terrace, because Sazed and Tindwal are researching Hero of Ages stuff, is where we sort of start. Uh, yeah, the Hero of Ages won't be from Terrace. Tindall finds a direct quote of the prophecy, supposedly. You know, it's like most of the stuff talking about the prophecy is people sort of like, you know, it's third-hand, fourth-hand information, but this is supposedly someone making a direct quote from the original Terrace prophecies that she has found. And they, and they sort of figure out that, like, there's many titles for the Hero of Ages, that different cultures have different titles for the same person. Yeah. Very Dragon Reborn- you know, very, very, uh, 
uh, see, I can't remember. It's like the Karakarn. Karakarn and Cormier is one. Cormier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cormier is the one that I was trying to think yeah, of. Because yeah, yeah, I can yeah. never remember the Seafolk one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sea Folk. God, I need to finish that book. <laughs> because also, it's like the Sea Folk are just there. All the Sea Folk are just there. And no one's going and talking to them. So no one. It's just like letter after one... letter, from place to place. He's like, this pl- these, these Sea Folk want to talk to you here. He goes to the other place. These, these Sea Folk want to are... talk to you. And then, like, one person tries to go and talk to them and makes a total ass of it. I don't even remember who it was. It's it was Egwene. like. Egwene, yeah. <laughs> Egwene just makes a total fucking ass of herself trying to go talk to the sea folk. And then no one else, no one else <laughs> makes an attempt to go talk to the sea folk. It's like, it's only Egwene. Yep. And she fucks it up so badly. She doesn't even get on the boat. No, she doesn't even get on the boat. She gets like chucked in the river. It's like, <laughs> anyway, not important. <laughs> uh not not important to to this but but yes <laughs> the, they they sort of realize that it's like oh these things that we didn't necessarily know were connected yeah, to yeah, the yeah. hero of ages stuff we now know is because we now know that like um this group calls it one thing, this other group calls it another thing. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I had heard of this thing, but I just would have had no reason to think that it was connected to yeah, yeah, yeah. the Hero of Ages from, like, Terrace Legend and stuff like that. And so it's sort of like, you know, me as a Wheel of Time reader would could assume, but <laughs> but, but they don't have that kind of knowledge. Um, uh, and, oh yeah, and, 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 then I, and then I have my little bit where I'm like... How am I only just now connecting Quan's metal tablet with the LDS gold tablets? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, it's not that they're necessarily an exact like parallel, yes. right? It's not that the stuff on Quan's tablet is the same, even like kind of thing, right? As what's what was supposed to be on like the gold tablets that Joseph Smith got or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But in terms of sort of like a shared religious imagery. Yeah. Right. Like in the ways in which the sort of. Uh, Lord Ruler's Church has things that sort of uh, hearken to kind of Catholic aesthetic yeah. Yeah, 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 in terms yeah. of like all the stained yep. glass yep. and like the spires and yeah, the, you yeah, know, yeah. the sort of the Gothic architecture. Yeah. And honestly, the structure, like the bureaucratic, mm-hmm. like bureaucratic structure, like yeah, if you think yeah. of like, like, um, <laughs> if you think of the Lord Ruler as the Pope. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because like he, it's, it's a, it's a mm-hmm. theocracy with his, like yeah, yeah. his, priests running mm-hmm. it it's, it's, a, it's a whole it's right it's one of those things I've where it's like the name of the city the vatican thank you yeah, yeah, yeah. i was li- just trying to say the vatican and it was not coming to my mind yeah, yeah. luthadel's vatican city right. yeah i guess so see here's the thing it's like to, to me w- while i can see ways in which that like makes sense there's also ways in which that definitely like breaks down yeah like the like like so on the one hand there's some interesting parallels in the way that like the lord ruler is like I'm never wrong. It's just time for a change and sort of sort of the infallibility of yeah. the Pope. The Pope is infallible, and and I and I have had someone who is Catholic talk about how like the infallibility of the Pope is more specific than that. It's like you know if the Pope says it's going to rain tomorrow and it doesn't rain tomorrow, it's not you know proof that the Pope's not infallible. It's that when the Pope, it's like one of those things like oh when the Pope speaks on behalf of God, yeah. you yeah, know it's yeah. like one of those things where it's like. When the Pope is speaking X whatever the yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah. he is infallible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, also there have been a lot of popes who've said a lot of different things. Yep. And so like it doesn't all sort of coalesce and make sense. And also all the popes are different popes. And also there have been times where there have been multiple popes. There's never been a time when there have been multiple Lord Rulers. But, yeah. you know, yeah. it's not, yeah, it's, that's yeah, not yeah. sort of super important. Although, you know, it's important because like, you know, the, 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 the way that the Catholic Church is yeah. and the whole thing with like multiple popes popes all vying for who's the real pope and all that sort of stuff is an important part of like church history and whatnot but because it's because it feels more like if the lord ruler is supposed to be god then he should have a pope and then yeah like if he's supposed to be god the pope isn't supposed to be god the pope just speaks on behalf of god but also the lord ruler is supposed to be god but he's also supposed to be like a piece of god yeah He's like a sliver of infinity. He is a piece of God, but maybe he's not the entirety of God. So maybe there's like some overlap that you could make. Yeah. But but I, I think there's also a bit of like 
from a like Protestant denomination, mm-hmm. like looking at like yeah. Catholics, y- you have a different view of right. of like the structure of the of yeah because it's like i was diet catholic so right. i knew more about sort of catholicism and i i grew up like southern baptist and was then was very mm-hmm. interested in a lot of uh like similar like mm-hmm. uh um, like protestant uh like christian groups and stuff like mm-hmm. that so i looked into like mormonism yeah quite a bit just like it's mm-hmm. very interesting. Yeah, and it's also one of those funny things that you're talking about, that you're, like, Southern, that you grew up Southern Baptist, considering yep. you didn't grow up in the South, and I did grow yes. up in the South, yeah, but yeah, I was yeah. not Southern Baptist. <laughs> Everyone around me is Southern Baptist, but I, but we were Episcopal, yep. which is diet Catholic, so we sort of, like, had more... Because, like, while Episcopal is a Protestant... It's, it's in a sense, a Protestant denomination yes. of christianity because it's non-catholic yeah, it's very close it's, to... it's much closer to catholic yep. than a lot of other ones so it's like you know i have a bit more, and, and also i had a friend growing up who was catholic yeah, yeah, yeah and like i had a couple friends growing up who were catholic one a closer friend than the other but it's like so i just had a bit more sort of connection to that yeah but i know that there is a sort of like there's there certain protestants who don't even consider catholics christians it's, because they're extreme it's fairly i wouldn't say I would say fairly common in a, in a lot of Baptist mm-hmm. communities and stuff. Oh yeah, and I know, but I just still think it's dumb. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it, it is. They obviously are. Yeah, they're Christians. Mm-hmm. Uh, same with Mormons. Yeah, like. Uh, like <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh yeah. They, they believe in in the Bible as one of their mm-hmm. like holy books. Yeah. You know, like they just have multiple holy books yeah it's it's one of those things where it's like mormons do start to become a thing where where it's like because then when you get into like sort of uh islam yeah they also will sort of incorporate biblical stuff because it's like jesus is just another one of the prophets he was not the messiah and and so it's like you can get some jesus in there with islam it's just like a different sort of interpretation and then they have their own book sort of on top and it's like you know, because also you could be like, well, Christianity is just a weird sect of Judaism because right. it was just a weird sect of Judaism yeah, yeah, yeah. that then becomes its own thing. And like, sort of, the div- the dividing line between religions is often sort of very. Blurry I find in that it way. to be a bit too young to be its own. <laughs> to be its own sort of thing. Yeah, I I can I I, I could see it growing mm-hmm. into sort of like more distinct. Uh, yes, but with the like theology and stuff now there there's too many similarities in yeah. like their kind of base yeah um mm-hmm. like things yeah I mean, I mean it's one of those things where it's just sort of like i don't know they're they're they're, they're like uh, the gnostics in the sense of like the gnostics had some really crazy interpretations of things yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah we're still like christians but we believe that there's like a world beyond our world with all these gods and there's like Sophia the god of wisdom who created the god that's the god of the bible who's an evil god yep. who created earth so that he could be a weird tyrant over it yeah, see yeah, it's yeah. like to me the lord ruler feels almost more. more like the sort of gnostic interpretation of like the demiurge yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like this evil god who rules over the world and like the reason like yes, yes that is god and that is the god of the bible and it's the god who created us and who created the earth but that right. god is evil right. and cruel and there's a god above that god who's better and pure and yeah, wise yeah, yeah. and if we can you know and, and so it kind of like reminds me some of that some of this stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. and and also it's like the mormons they have this whole sort of theological thing with the whole with like the planets yeah. and the like you, you know, th- th- there are these, like, added elements of, like, getting your own planet and the, like, before you're born, your soul chooses to follow God or not, and that determines how you're born and yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah. The, these sorts of, like, elements that are sort of added on um, that, like, sort of change some of the kind of metaphysical yeah. things. And, and, like, you you do get that between different denominations. Like, do you believe in purgatory or not? Yeah, do you yeah, believe yeah. in, like, the har- the harrowing of hell? But a lot of these things are sort of, like... I wonder if roommates are coming home. Yeah, he, he just needed to yell at some squirrels. He wasn't even yelling at the door. He was sitting on the, like, couch mm-hmm. facing the living room, barking yeah. for no reason. Just going, just, just yeah. howling. And then as soon as I walked in there, he walked to the door. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 
But yeah, no, there, there's these like metaphysical things, yeah, sort, yeah. sort of like you know, um, but, but you know, there's, there's all kinds of different sort of like interpretations and metaphysical readings of of the texts, you know, and, yeah, and like yeah. Catholics and Protestants have different Bibles, yep. like different things that are like apocrypha and and you know and whatnot, you know. So, so it's like I don't know, it, it's one of those things where it's like. It's hard to define exactly the difference between religions, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially in like, you know, with something like the Abraham, like like the Abrahamic religions and yeah. how they're all sort of connected in this yeah, way. And yeah, like, yeah. there's all the different sort of types of Buddhism that all have their own sort of like different yes. sort of like sex and whatnot. And so it's like, how different are the different types of Buddhism? How different are the different types of Christianity? How different are the different Abrahamic religions yep. from each other? You know, it's just sort of like making precise dividing lines can be like difficult sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the, the 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 sort of thing that I was getting at is that like the the metal tablets yes. as sort of like religious imagery, but specifically religious imagery for a sort of Latter Day Saints yep. Mormon like. Uh, religious, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, my words are so important that I'm carving them carving, in, yes. into metal. Suddenly feels like, oh, of course, because golden tablets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, if it's so important that I'm putting it down into metal, and maybe we'll get some sort of, like, reason or explanation in the text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it, but suddenly I'm like, oh, right, because Mormons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because, um, like, it sort of, like, makes sense on a more just sort of, like, instinctual like religious imagery level it's yeah. like oh well this is religious imagery yes in a way that like it didn't immediately come across as like religious like imagery religious, yeah, yeah yeah you know it's like oh cool metal slab thing it's like oh fantasy whatever and it's like yeah, oh yeah, it's yeah. you know it's like you know when there's a church or a cross or something yeah, you know, it's yeah. like because like the cross is the symbol of specifically the crucifixion but so often it's not tied directly to the crucifixion it's just a holy symbol yeah, yeah right it's yeah, just yeah. the symbol of christianity and so it's like yeah the catholics always have fucking little jesus on there but the cross yeah. itself has also just sort of come to be like you know people make the sign of the cross with like their fingers yeah. or that, their that's arms the whole or thing with the uh, with protestants mm -hmm. with, like with some protestants where they don't like that catholics have jesus, like, on, jesus the on the cross yeah, because yeah. It, it's a whole thing of like no jesus is no longer on the cross he's died mm -hmm. and rose again he is not like it, yeah it, it's it's a whole like mm -hmm. it's a whole like like no he's not still on the cross like it's like there, 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 there's no infighting like these tiny little interpretational differences. Yeah, because it's, it's basically like the. And this is why fandom and religion are the same thing. Yeah. Anyway. They'll, they'll basically just be like, like, oh, like an empty cross kind of shows the resurrection. Basically, right, right, right. It's a symbol of the resurrection rather mm -hmm. than a symbol of the crucifixion, the, the crucifixion, the death itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's better to kind of celebrate the the life that like what we're. What, <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh, what, what you're given or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, it's one of those things. Like, do you put more emphasis on the death yes. of Jesus or the sort of? Um, yeah, and it was a whole thing. Is like resurrection. I like was, the word was not coming to it, me. It's like uh, they would be like, well, anyone could die. Yeah. Right. That's mm -hmm. not the special part of it. The special, the special part, part isn't that he was crucified. The special part is that he, he was came resurrected. Back. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I kept wanting to say rebirth, but that has different sort yes. of like uh, implications or like connotations. But yeah, um, yeah, and, and it's interesting because like you know, I, again, I think about like the Barterman podcast and like sort of talking about the death and the resurrection and, and like you know the, the the different sort of like stories about it and like you know trying to put the different resurrection stories next to each other and yeah. be like who who, who saw yep. what when and yep. where and <laughs> and all this sort of stuff and the Nas well, I was saying, but the two the two women got there first mm -hmm. so was, did john and mm -hmm. luke get there first did who did, did like, john run in before paul did mm -hmm. <laughs> was there an angel there was there you know yep, yep. was the stone already rolled away did we see yep. the stone get rolled away yeah um, yeah, it, it, it's all these things, um, which is super interesting, because, like, the Gnostics also have, like, their own sort of, like, texts about this, and also, like, the, the Muslims do, too, because there's, like, a whole thing about, like, Jesus watching his own 
like like crucifixion and like laughing or mm-hmm. something like this like spirit watching the body die and laughing because i'm not really there got you it's like yeah, yeah you yeah. know it, it's i forget who's exactly that was but this sort of thing of like this sort of spirit of jesus watching the body get crucified and yeah, laughing yeah, because yeah. of whatever um yeah, it's it's interesting because the Gnostics are like it's all this like coded stuff that we can figure out about the true nature of the universe. Like it's for them, it's more about figuring out the true nature of the universe than like these like specific sort of like moral messages right, right. about like what God's doing. I mean, that's also a part of it because they do believe that like part of the message is that there is an evil God <laughs> who's ruling over us. But it's like we can determine the true nature of the universe yep. by like studying what Jesus had to say because yeah. he was the sage who like knew these things and was trying to like tell us. Yeah. Um, it's super interesting. Yeah. It's like religion is so complicated. Yeah. It's, uh, it's such a fascinating. Mm hmm. It's, it's one of my favorite topics as a former religious person, very religious person, and yeah. now, uh, mm-hmm. and now like atheist or whatever. It's right. it's very fascinating because I the thing that I enjoy about how Sanderson approaches religion is that he sort of very much acknowledges the human element. Yes, of it. religion is not this thing that is divinely given down to us in its perfect form, yeah. right? You know, because so many people, it's like religion. That's what it is. It's yeah. like. You know, religion is this thing that people do. Yeah. And it's like, I don't don't know, it's like he's willing to sort of like engage with the complexities of like the humans practicing the religion. Yeah. And how they change things and interpret things and the truths that they get from it and the ways in which there's multiple religions who all have different things that they have to say. Yeah. But it's like there's truths within them. You know, it's like we're, we're sort of trying to communicate these truths to each other and this is the way that we do it. And it's like... We'll get more into it, um, maybe even in here. Uh, I don't remember exactly uh, when they have this conversation, but uh, but we but we should probably get like yeah, yeah, m- yeah. moving on. Um, oh yeah, Tyndall and Saza talk religion. Yeah. It was yeah. literally my next note, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I so I can talk about it right now. Like because Tyndall and Saza have this whole conversation about religion, where Tyndall is like. You know, I think that it's like, you know, like so much of the stuff is just sort of like false. It's yeah. untrue. It's these falsehoods. And it's like, do you believe in it? It's like, so you just sort of believe in academically. And it's like, no, I wouldn't quite say that. Yeah. And sort of like, it's like, so what do you believe exactly? And he has a hard time sort of like pinning down exactly what it is. Yeah. And it's like, she's like, he's like, why, why are you helping me do this if you don't believe? And she's like, well, I think that there's truth in here in the sense of it's like, this is a problem that they had experience with. Yes. And this is, and like truth becomes the sort of like myth and religion and sort of trying to parse the truth and figure it out. And it's like, I don't know. It it just, you know, it's like they, they have a whole conversation about it. Yeah. Say it very much sees that you could kind of get truth out of anything. Yeah. And like, as long as you pull something out of it or whatever, mm-hmm. you, you, there, there's there's some important yeah. truth there. And Tyndall's looking for like evidence, tr- like like yeah, like yeah, yeah, actual. Yeah, it's like it's like in this whole exchange, it's like this is one of the times where I'm more on Tyndall's side. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. also it's like. Yeah, it's like, so you believe in it academically, so yeah. you believe in it in this way, do you believe in it in that way? And yes. he's like, eh, not quite, not quite, not quite. Yeah. And it's like, I, so it's like I, I think he more believes in the idea of it, because mm-hmm. he kind of talks about, like, hope, and, and kind of, yes. like, that more being mm-hmm. what he's interested in. Yeah, and she's like, hope is good, it's like, hope is a good thing, it's a wonderful thing, but also it's like, if it's just, like, built on lies... And just, like, these, like, supernatural falsehoods, then, like, what good is it? It needs to be built on something concrete. (laughs) You right? (laughs) Ran into the wall. (laughs) (laughs) How'd that happen? I was trying to run back into the room from letting the dogs, uh, letting the dogs in, and Mm -hmm. I, like, kind of slipped a little bit and then ran into the wall. So. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> uh, but yeah, I um I really like this whole conversation that yes. they have because it's like Tyndall's like you, it needs to be built on something concrete. Yes, and and event, and says a bunch of just like uh, I just don't think we're gonna like agree on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it's interesting because it's like you know T- Tyndall's not just like made out to be like oh you're just like wrong and stupid. Holly's just stealing a sock over there. I was just watching her like 
shake it and fling it around a little bit before bringing it up on the bed. And continuing to throw it around. Mm-hmm. Having fun there, little one? She loves to steal the socks, specifically. <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> she just, like, had it in her mouth. just kind of, yeah. like, stood there, kind of, like, looked around for a little bit and then just <laughs> scampered off. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, I sort of appreciate the way in which um, Tyndall sort of, like, portrayed here. Um, you know, it, it, it's not just being like, well, religion's obviously the correct view. So, yeah. you know. And then Tyndall end up and you know doesn't like end the conversation being like, "Wow, Caesar, you're so right. Religion's the best." Right, right. right. <laughs> you know, she she does think that like religion's like a good thing generally, um, but you know, uh, she she she's still thinks that like a bunch of the stuff is just like wrong. It's like it's like it's like you know you're trying to like like what 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 good is this like trying to teach people these like gods like what what good do these gods do the people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sort of like had them they all got like wiped out and shit. She doesn't quite put it exactly yeah. like that, but it's, you know, it's like these long dead gods or whatever. It's like, what's, what's even the point? Yeah. Um, it's like, I think that they're worth remembering. And it's like, so you're just interested in them in like an academic sense? That's the one that I keep coming back to. Yeah. Because he's specifically like, no, I wouldn't quite say that. Yes. You know, it's not just like an academic interest. It's like more than that. Yeah. He like believes them, but it's like, well, how can you believe all of them? They're contradictory. And it's yeah. like, you know, uh, it's, it's a, it's a whole thing. It's it's super interesting and I, and I really enjoyed listening to that yep. bit. Um, and then, and then, crazy shit, <laughs> fucking crazy shit. The same sentence has been removed from every copy of the Quan Tablet rubbing, including the original rubbing. The, I didn't know that this was in this section. Yeah, the, I've been waiting for this to come up. Did not know it was in this section. Yep, the last sentence has been removed. Even in like like and and they're torn out in the exact same way. Even they they were all in like separate places. Yep. And, like, they just saw it yesterday. It's like, I referenced it just yesterday. But, like, they've been removed. Even one that was only, like, half transcribed has, like, a hole punched out in, like, the middle of it. Yeah. It's, like, and, and it's the same line, the last line in all of them. And it's, um, let me see. Alendi must not reach the well of ascension. He must not be allowed to take the power for himself. And that's the bit that's been removed. removed yeah. And he's, like... It's so strange that they would do this and, like, but then also, like, I I have it in my copper mind. I can just remember it. Yeah. So, like, you know, it's like that they would, like, know so little of, like, our capabilities, but be able to, like, do this and whatnot. And then Vin shows up. <laughs> and then Vin shows up and is just like, have you, have you seen anything, Vin? Have you seen anyone, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. around? But it's like, how? It's like, it's like they're, they're perfectly torn away. In the exact same spot on two different sheets of paper that weren't anywhere like close to each other or anything. How did it happen? What the fuck? Mist? Mist spirits? <laughs> I don't know. How did it? How did it do? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yep. Uh, time travel. I don't know. <laughs> like, like genuinely, I'm like, oh, what? What's going on? Yep. It's a mystery. Yep. You know, it, it's it's a mystery, and I'm so curious. I'm, I'm just thinking about Tumblr guy again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, what was even the point of that? It's just like, it's just, and then what? And then what's even the point? He just knows it. Yeah. It's just like, you know, I'm putting words in his mouth. <laughs> he never even got to this book. He never even got to the end of the first book. No. Um, but, yeah, no, just like, what the fuck? What happened to it? I don't have, like, I wish I had more to say, but I just like, yep. was listening to that part. And it was just like, what did you, what did you, what you, what? So, so yep. thrown off by it. Uh, yeah, so they have it in their, like, sentence their copper mind or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, says it's got it in, in the old, in yep. the old copper mind. And, uh, and then Vin shows up and Vin's like, hey, Saza, can I talk to you? <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, and so my note is, I have Vin's here. At least, uh, she got to talk to Saza about it. Yes. Because she... Is like, can I talk to you about love? Yep. And he's like, well, I mean, uh, I don't have much <laughs> sort of experience in the matter. Yeah. But... I, I do not think I'm one to speak on the topic, Lady Vin. I know very little about it. You always say things like that. But really, you're an expert on just about everything. <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. And, and they get to talking about it. And uh, just sort of like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's like, one of my notes is she likes Zane, kind of. 
she has this whole thing about like you know like I'm not right for him and it's like you know there's maybe someone else and it's Zane and it's like she doesn't say that it's Zane but it's like someone who I should you know would be sort of like a better match with or yep. whatever yeah, yeah, yeah and it's like I don't this is just sort of my interpretation yeah and maybe people would feel differently about this but my sort of interpretation it's not so much that Vin really is like into Zane yeah. She just sort of feels like she should be. Yes. Because that's kind of what Zane's been saying. Is mm-hmm. like, is like, one, you're too good for him, but mm-hmm. also he's too good for you. You yeah. know, like, yep. we're, we're like the fucked up assassins mm-hmm. or whatever should leave, you know, like, kind of playing on. Yep. And she's like, oh, he kind of, he kind of looks like Ellen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, she's like, she's sort of like. It's, like, uh, it's always in comparison to Ellen. Yeah. She's never comparing Ellen to Zane. If no. she's seeing Zane, she's comparing him to Alan. Yeah, and and he is sort of, like, inviting this in some yes. ways, and also, like, trying to sort of, like, get her to sort of be like, see, it's you and me, because we're both misborn, and I understand yep. you, and he doesn't understand you, and so she's like, I guess I'm supposed to, yes. to, to, be, to like him, or be with him, or, like, you know, because he's sort of, like, the other Ellen in a way. Yeah. It's just sort of, like... Uh, you you know, like, I guess if it has to be someone, it'd be yes. Zane because of yep. all these sorts of things. So it's not that she and really, so if like... so I can protect Ellen and then be mm-hmm. with basically Ellen, but, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not so much that she actually is into him so much as she feels like that's what she's supposed yes. to, to be feeling because that's kind of what Zane's pushing her towards. Yeah. Um, and so that's like... It's interesting. I was just glad that she's like you can have a conversation yes. with someone about this, yes. talking to Seiza and getting sort of her feelings out that she's been having this whole time. That I've been like, talk to Alan about this, and she talked to Seiza about yes. it, and that's and that's good. Yeah. And and then she fucks off. Uh, yeah, I I like this line here. Oh, child, when will you stop worrying and let and simply let yourself be loved? Yep. And I just like that. It's nice. Uh, as well as, um, it's like, listen, like, you know, it's not sort of, it's like, if Alan says that he loves you and, like, says that he trusts you and all these sorts of things, then you gotta fucking trust him, you know? It's like, what does it say if you're not sort of, like, le- letting, you know, sort of believing him in that sense, you know? It's like, if yeah. you love him and care about him, then why are you, like, sort of second-guessing him when it comes yeah. to, to this, to, yeah. to him sort of liking you and loving you and wanting to be with you and yes. all that sort of stuff? And so then she leaves. Yeah. Um, and then Ellen shows yeah. up. <laughs> well, because cause she had sent... Because it was like, hey, Tind will leave so I can talk to Seizad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, fine, I'll go tell someone to make lunch or whatever. And then she leaves and, and Tindall comes back and she had been eavesdropping and hadn't gone to go get lunch. Yeah. And then Ellen shows up and then... It's like, <laughs> Tim will get out of here. It's yeah. like, fine. <laughs> and so then they have a conversation where... Yeah. Great. Tim will your excuse. <laughs> yep. And, and so then it's like... <laughs> and and says it's like, you'd be surprised at how similar you two yeah. are. Yeah. I doubt it. You know, and, and says it has this whole thing about the lock and the key. Where it's like, um, the lock and the key are very different when you look at them they seem like two unrelated objects but in fact they are they they go together yeah. and they're sort yeah, of yeah, like yeah. necessary for the for the function of one to the other it's like uh, a lock locks things a key opens things yeah. they're they're sort of opposites in a way but they form one sort of complete whole and you know it's like damn says that's good you should write a book yeah <laughs> you need to write a book sometime says that's a as profound as anything i've read <laughs> yep and then says it's like looking over at his work because he, he's just written a yeah. book essentially yeah about this whole lord ruler stuff that he's been studying and it's like I do a lot of quoting, but also it's, like, my own sort of thoughts and interpretations and opinions and whatnot in there. And it's, like, you know, sort of his first, like, creative work in that sense. Yeah. And so they have that conversation. Ellen leaves feeling better, like Vin did. Um, but Ellen is like, Tyndall, you can come back in. <laughs> and Tyndall's like, how'd you know I was there? And he's like, I guessed. <laughs> Honestly, you're just as bad as Vin. <laughs> Because uh, he's learned how to read her. Yep. And it's just yep. like, Tindoy can come back in. How yep. did you know I was there? I guessed. <laughs> I just guessed. Uh, it's so it's so good. Um, and then uh, says it. Oh, you you really did a fine uh, job with him. 
to find a job, Tinfoil said, <laughs> sitting. <laughs> yep. Uh, Seiza needs to get Ellen and Vin out of the city and yep. starts writing letters. And I was like, what's he writing these letters about? Who's he writing these letters to? And he's like, now I gotta get Ellen and Vin out of the city before it falls. So they can go do their, like, Hero of Ages shit. Yeah. And he's also kind of, when he's looking at the, the um, like, language or whatever, he's like, the actual word meant it, although it was commonly translated into modern tongues as he, yet each mm-hmm. he in this book could have also been written as she, if Vin really was the Hero of Ages, it's like thinking. Yep, it's a, it's a gender-neutral third-person yep. pronoun. So, yep, 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 yep. And that's, uh, that's the end of chapter 45? Yep got anything else to to mention with this one all right chapter 46 and uh breeze oh yeah breeze is full noble yep. and they don't know <laughs> i i went and re-listened to that like multiple times to make sure that i was like getting it correctly it's like wait he's just a noble yep. he's not he's not a uh, ska at all <laughs> <laughs> which which just like makes some of the stuff from book one really funny yeah because in book one i was like he's the most faux aristocracy yep. of any of them yep. and it's like he just straight up is aristocracy he is, yep. he's straight up been a noble <laughs> this whole time and this whole thing go, oh kelsey would never work with a noble but breeze is just a noble and they yep. just don't know because yep. he's kept it a secret from them and it's like yeah there are some nobles who are just like cool yep. and chill and you didn't even know because breeze Cause, wasn't telling you this yep, whole time yep and and it's just it's it's and I feel like there was something else. There, there was also something else that I was gonna say about that, but I don't remember now. It's just like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> You've just been pretending this whole time. Um, oh yeah, because he gets a letter. He gets say says say mm-hmm. says uh, uh, well, not sneaky sneaky not sne- letter. Yep. Oh yeah, because says it's being real bad at being oh, sneaky. I love it. Snaze snaze head. Snaze head. Snaze Sneaky Snaza. Sneaky Snaza. That can be the title of the episode. <laughs> Sneaky Snaza. I like it. Um, yeah, so so Sezed, um Oh, I totally wrote this wrong. So Sezed wants to meet in secret, and then my next note is Sezed gets lightheaded when he stands. I oh. meant Breeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breeze... It's like, oh, whenever he stands up, he gets, like, lightheaded and stuff, which makes me think of, like... It's like so, so Breeze is, like, iron deficient? <laughs> Breeze is, like, yeah, anemic? Yeah, yeah. Um... But he was in bed with Ariane. Yeah. It just sort of like a little detail is that he he was in bed with Ariane. Yep. He was like, well, fucking city's ending. Yeah, so he's like, we're going to be dead soon anyway. We're going to be dead soon anyway. <laughs> um, but also it's like, it's, it's, it's also one of those things where it's like, he's like, consent. Is, yeah. With with regards to Ariane, considering Ariane's been like rioting him this yep. whole time. And yep. I don't know that like, if Reese is like aware. I don't know if he is. Yeah, because like, I feel like he would have mentioned, because if you've been in his head a couple of times, yep. I feel like he would have mentioned something. Yeah. Because like, whenever we're in his head and she's like rioting yep. him, he doesn't he, do- make... he doesn't think it then. So unless no. he's found out since then. Yeah, and, and so it's like, and it's one of those things where he explicitly was like, I don't end up with a lot of women yep. because I do the whole soothing thing. Yeah thing and it's like a whole thing with me and so it's like yeah a whole a whole weird a yeah. whole weird thing with that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what like something with Ariane? i don't know like because Ariane's just been here yep and i'm like what like there's gonna be something yeah. either in this book or the next book where there's gonna be some twist involving Ariane. i feel but i could be wrong about that i thought that there was gonna be some big important thing with spook in the first book yeah, and there really yeah, kind yeah. of wasn't he was just there yeah um, which is fine, and there hasn't really been in this book a thing with Spook. Yeah. he's just kind of there, but it's fine. Um, but anyway, Breeze Breeze goes to, to see Saza, yeah. and he like it's like there's guards outside the door, yeah. and he soothes the guards so they check inside the room so he can see inside the room, yeah. and then he and then he like soothes them again and comes up and it's like Saza, you're being way too obvious. Yeah, yeah. teaching Saza how to be sneaky. Um, how to properly be snazed. Yeah, yeah. Um, properly be snazed. Uh, everyone's here but Vin, Ellen, and Spook. Eventually, they they yep. all sort of like come in. <laughs> Cove's like get rid of because <laughs> first Breeze is like get rid of the, the guards outside the door and 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 bring us like food or whatever so that you know it'll just seem like a you know like we're just 
hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Club shows up and is like, get rid of those guards out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm already on it. I love it. Trap? What are you talking about? Oh, don't sound so shocked. This is no simple <laughs> meeting. Say that Wilton Slaysley. It's that obvious, is it? It's that obvious, is it? Uh, it's so, it's so good. Uh, um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, everyone... You may have helped us overthrow the Lord Ruler, my dear man, but you have a lot to learn about being sneaky. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and so then they're all there, except for Ben Allen and Spook. And they start arguing. Uh, Ham and Dachshund especially are, like, arguing. Um, and Breeze soothes things to get them back on track. Uh, and they start arguing again, and then he, like, really soothes, soothes them. He hits them with, like, a big soothing. Yeah. And, and they, like, look at him and say, yes, of course I'm soothing you. <laughs> Y'all need to shut up. Because <laughs> they're sort of arguing about yep. the whole situation because things are tense. And, and Bree's like, yeah, they put on a good face in front of, like, the soldiers and stuff. But, like, just amongst themselves as it's... friends, they can actually, like, you know, yep. kind of, like, argue about it. Um and uh, and he's also like it's like what's what says a want it's like is is he good enough to know that we just needed to like sit and talk it out without yeah, Ellen yeah, yeah, yeah. which is kind of funny um but uh but uh yeah they don't deal well with losing yeah um, is one of the things that he says and um uh, if Shaft times are right, he'd be liberating the city from the coloss in the people's eyes. Club says, we fight and we die. Yeah. It's like, what should we do? And they're arguing, and Club's like, I'll tell you what we do. We fight and we die. <laughs> like, with honor. Um, and I have the note, yeah, the world did change. The, yeah, the world did change overnight, but also, in a very real way, it doesn't change overnight. Yeah. You know, he's like, listen, we did something big, but like... It was never going to be easy after the fact. Yep. And, like, yep. by fighting and dying inspirationally, the Ska will, like, you know, it's like years, yep. a thousand years of Ska oppression is not suddenly yep. just going to, like, disappear, co- disappear and, overnight yep. just because the Lord Ruler is gone. He was yep. the one enforcing it, but everyone else was also enforcing it. Yep. And but they, now that the highest level of enforcement there is gone, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah, but there, there's, like, a chance, an yeah. opportunity, because the Lord Ruler was keeping control of everything yes. and, like, keeping things from changing and advancing. It's like, well, now things can get better in the future. What we've done is secure a better possibility for the future. We can't necessarily fix everything right now, but things can still get better because of the things that we've done. Yeah. Um, which is, I really like. And I have, they're planning to be Manetherin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. isn't that the thing with Manetherin? It's like they they lost, but they held out for a really long yeah, time. Yeah, basically. For like an impressively long yeah, time, yeah, and it yeah. gave people time to do whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, they're going to be Manetherin. Yeah, a bunch of people, like, escaped and stuff. And... Yeah. So I'm like, they're going to be Manetherin. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're going to die honorably and gloriously. Um, but I'm like, there's, there's maybe ways that they can win still, though. And, and that's when I started having my thoughts about, like, let's just paint more gold and give it to yeah, the Kola yeah, yeah. so that yeah, Straff yeah. can't do his thing. Um, and so they're like, okay, we need to get Vin and Ellen out of here. And also Spook. Spook can go with them. He'll be useful as, yeah. like, a ten eye, And also just, like, you know, he's a kid. And then, uh... Breeze is also thinking, like, I need, I should get them to let Ariane also go. Yeah. And so I'm like, Vin, Ellen, Spook, Ariane, what a group. <laughs> what a, what a party. Yep, yep. Uh, and then Vin, oh yeah, and so then, uh, after this we cut to, like, Vin. Is there more that we should, they, we should say about this whole little meeting? I don't think so. It's a good conversation and stuff. Yeah. But. It's, I, I really enjoy this whole sort yeah. of like conversation of them like going over the sort of realities of it. Yeah. And, and being, and kind of like getting, getting all on the same page and working out some like, some, some grief stuff. Some like, you yep. know, like Kelsey is gone. And, mm-hmm. you know, yep. And so that what, type of stuff. what have you been doing? What have you been doing? Yeah. And it's like, well, they've all been doing things yes. just in their yeah. own little like spheres. And they all and know that too. Yeah. I mean, you need to kind of get some emotion yeah. out. Because I'm, because, like, I was reading this and I'm like, oh, no. (laughs) Because I'm like, because I can totally see it. I can totally, like, here's the thing. I feel like there are ways in which they could still win this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I could also absolutely see it going in a direction where they do die. Yeah, yeah, Where, like, the crew dies, but these people do go on and and stuff like that. I could could see it actually going in that direction, which is, mm, Yeah. Which has me worried. It has me scared for them. Um... But uh, but I, I just like to imagine 
Ellen, Vin, Spook, and Ariane all in like an adventuring party yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's such a funny like <laughs> crew because it's, it's just like it's the youngins. Yep. Get get the kids to go off and do this thing together. Yep. Go on an adventure. Wild shit. Um, and so then my next thing is Vin. Vin saving the guard was too allegorical. <laughs> She's thinking about how she saved that one guard, and then that guard ended up going and getting Ellen. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Saving her and whatnot. And she was like, it, it's too neat and allegorical. It's like a story that you tell yeah, <laughs> a child yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to teach them a lesson or whatever. It's too perfect. And it's like, there, there's all these other examples of times where, where things don't go like that. Yeah. And what's, which is so fun because I remember at the time being like, this feels like an allegory tale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This feels like a morality tale, like yeah. a little like, religious fable, parable kind of thing and then she's like it, it, it's too allegorical yeah and it was just it was, that was just really funny to me um because she's sort of like debating all of her shit yeah and she kind of compares herself to kelsier and mm-hmm. like the things that she respected and really loved about kelsier and the things mm-hmm. that scared her about kelsier yep yep for sure um why build luthadel here not Terrace? yeah and that's an interesting question um Zane. Yeah, because she goes to check out Credit Shaw. She's like just yeah. kind of wandering around. That's and, right. That's and right. She's, at it. she's at Credit Shaw yeah. while she's while she's like kind of thinking about this. Yeah, but lately she'd been feeling a kinship with Lord Ruler and just kind of like mm-hmm. wandering around. Yep. And then my next thing is about Zane. Do we have any more Vin stuff to talk about here? Because um, this is sort of Vin brooding hour. Yeah, it's just kind of going over stuff that's kind of happened here mm-hmm. at uh, um, at Credit Shaw. Uh huh. And uh, looking at, like, the rooms in there, rugs, furs, a small wooden flute, mm-hmm. things of his people, the Terrace yeah. culture. Yeah, because she's, like, this sort of stuff to remind of a home, and so that's yeah. why she's like, so why did he build yeah. Luthadel here as opposed to, like, up in Terrace, if, if all that? And so I'm like, yeah, good question. Why did he do that? There's, there's just all these, like, questions that, like, I wouldn't have thought to, like, ask like that. It's like, yeah, if he's from Terrace, why didn't he build it in Terrace? Yeah. If he's, like, the Terrace people yeah. are superior, even if he's, like... I'm gonna do all this like terrace breeding stuff yep. to get rid of so that I can be the only one. Yeah. If he still has a sort of like, if terraceman is a part of his sort of like. Yeah, because he still keeps that mm-hmm. that stuff there. Is still is obviously important to him. So why not just control terrace yep. and just like so yeah, it's it's interesting. I, I'm I'm curious about that stuff. But yeah, and then Zane hears a banging on on a on his like tent spike. On like a tent pole spike, yeah, um, and wakes up to assassins. Yeah, kills the assassins. Throws some money to the lookout that he pays to bang on the tent spike yeah. if someone's coming. Love that. And then he's like, "All right, time to go fucking uh, confront Straff. Straff straight up like I'm gonna die." <laughs> yep, I love the attack had come later than Zane had expected. Straff trusts him more than I assumed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Um, which I didn't get that at first until it's like, oh, cause it's like a comment on like the fact that, uh, Zane would have been able to like take them or whatever. It's like, oh, he trusts that Zane would, you know, is powerful. And yeah. Blah, blah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Streff was just going to freaking leave. He was just yep. going to freaking leave. Yep. Zane's the one who's like, no, do the Colossus plan. Yep. Streff was just going to fucking go home. Mm-hmm. It's like Zane. Zane's the real. He he's the real kind of lead of this whole of this operation. Operation. Because he's like, Straff is good at the big picture, yep. but bad at the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Straff doesn't even really notice that Zane's doing all the details. Mm-hmm. Like Zane's just doing. I'm like, I'll just, like, I'll just take care yeah. of it. Yeah. Zane's just like, I'll just take care of it. <laughs> Uh, Which is crazy because he really wants to murder him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then. But he, he does like everything mm-hmm. to to get Straff where where he wants, you yep. know? and he's like, because you're my dad, and it's and it's bad to kill your father or whatever. Yep. Um, and then Zane's gonna go get Vin. He's like, I'm gonna go run off with Vin. And so I said, add Zane to our party, I guess. <laughs> yep, you were telling me that, mm-hmm. like, last night or whatever? Like, yeah, talking yeah, about, yeah. like, the, the mm-hmm. party with Zane or whatever, and I was like, mm-hmm. Yep, <laughs> yep, 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 where it's like, uh... Ellen, Vin, Spook, yep. Ariane, and Zane. Yep. I was like, what a party of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, and then Zane has a spike in him like an Inquisitor. He's got a spike through his chest 
Like the Steel Inquisitors yep. do. He knelt there for a long moment, then he reached up to his chest, feeling the space between two ribs, right above where his heart thumped. There was a large bump there. There always had been. He didn't think about it often. His mind seemed to get distracted when he did. But it was the real reason he never wore cloaks. Uh, he didn't like the way cloaks rubbed against the small point of the spike that stuck out of his back between his shoulder blades. <sighs> say it, say it. It's something about, like, his mind... Mm, um, ugh. There's a large bump there. There always had been. He didn't think about it often. His mind seemed to get distracted when he did. Yeah, his mind seemed to get distracted whenever he thinks about... About the spike. Yeah, I'm just so curious. Because it's like, oh, Zane's got this fucking spike in his mm-hmm. chest. And it's like, oh, when I think about it, I, I don't think I, about it yep. too much. When, and I'm like, what the fuck is... And, and, it's, and just, it's just there. And he just and, it, like, and it's and it's in his chest. Yep. And the, 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 the flat, flat is, is in the front. Yep. But we're like... The, the, cause there's like the a, spike is pointing out the back. Right, but the spikes in the Steel Inquisitor, there were several of them, and yes. one of them in the back yep. was like the other way around, and it was in the yes. back, and we took that one out, it killed them because it disconnected their shit. Yes. That's the, what they're basically their top spikes from their bottom spikes. Yes, that's what Marsh was saying. And so I'm like, what is up? With, with just with like one spike, like that, or as yes. far as we know, right? Yeah, because it's like he doesn't mention having any others. Yep. He certainly doesn't have any in his eyes. Yeah, yeah. You know, and 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 so it's like, and he doesn't seem to have any others as far yep. as we know. He doesn't mention them, and like he's the only misborn. He's the only misborn. All the rest of them are like mistings. Yeah. But the only misborn that that he was able to successfully sire. Yeah. Is him, yeah, and he yeah. has a spike through him, yeah, and yeah. we know that becoming a Steel Inquisitor makes you a Mistborn. Yeah, because Marsh wasn't a Mistborn, but yep. he gets Steel Inquisitor and becomes a Mistborn. So, like, what the fuck is up with this? And then we get to the next chapter. Yep, yep. <laughs> chapter forty-seven. Chapter I have been waiting for yes. for a while. Yes. So. So chapter 47. So so okay, we're here. We're in chapter 47. Yes. This is later in in the fucking chapter, but I'm just going to start with it. Zane fucking dies. Yep. <laughs> like like the last Good chapter, <laughs> like the last chapter, we're told, "Oh, he's got this spike in his chest." And I'm like, "What the fuck is up with that? What's that gonna-? And then he dies the next chapter. <laughs> he Vin fucking stabs him in the throat. Yep. And he, and, and he fucking dies. And so I'm like, is he not dead because of fucking Steel Inquisitor bullshit? But that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because we know they can die. Because we know they can die, but it's like you have to sever the top ones from the bottom ones. And, like, Kelsier did it by decapitating. Yeah. But it's not like, you know, they're otherwise like, oh, they're so tough. They're so whatever. Yeah, yeah But it's yeah. like... I, I don't know, like, were, were they immortal otherwise, unless you, you fucked with the things? That, that, how does that make sense? But Zane's only got the one spike, yep. and then he fucking dies, and I'm like, are we gonna, I feel like we have to get some explanation on the spike eventually, but, like, I was really not expecting this to happen. I was like, Zane's gonna be a part of our, yep. our team yep, or whatever. Like, yep, yep, yeah, that's I'm like, interesting. I'm like, maybe, maybe we're gonna have, like, a Zane redemption yeah, arc or yeah, something, yeah. or maybe, who knows. Meet his brother, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was just, no, he just fucking dies in the next chapter. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> starting from the beginning of the chapter, <laughs> um, Vin feels bad, she doesn't feel bad about yeah. killing all those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's a bit of a, a bit of a dachshund situation. Yeah. Um... Mist spirit. She keeps talking about the mist spirit. She was talking about the mist spirit earlier, actually. I think in the in when she was at Credit Shaw and yeah. stuff. Yeah. She, the, the mist spirit watched her as always. It was mm-hmm. too distant to see, but she could feel it. And even stronger than the mist feel, uh, spirit, she could feel something else. That powerful thumping, growing louder and louder. It had once seemed distant, but no longer. Yep. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is up with that? And we're gonna get answers in the next couple parts, I'm sure. Or the next book. Who fucking knows? <laughs> yeah, pulsing in the north keeps getting stronger. Which, it's always been a pulsing in the north. It's always been a pulsing in the north. It's always been a pulsing in the north. And this is breaking the rule a little bit. So, like, if you're only here for this chapter... In the next chapter, she says that the pulse doesn't have a direction. But she's always said that it's coming from the north. Yeah. She's always said that the pulsing is coming from the north, but the next chapter she's like, oh no, the pulse doesn't really have a direction. Bitch! <laughs> anyway. Um, 
Polson coming from the north, and the Alamancy Mist Man is is pulsing, and Zane's still a lying bitch. <laughs> Um, I have the note pulsing in the north keeps getting stronger, and then my next gotcha. note. She doesn't say that it's pulsing north. It says that she feels it pulsing, and then she looks north mm-hmm. towards Terrace. Yeah, but she's she's been saying for a while. She's been like, "I want to go north. I want to go north." The yeah. pulsing. I want to go yeah. north. I want to go north. So like, I don't know. Maybe the pulsing isn't coming from that direction. But she she's from the beginning yeah. been yeah, like then, north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, pulsing and north. north. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. associated the two the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, but Zane's still a lying bitch. Zane shows up. Yes. And he's being a lying bitch like he always is. I forget exactly what he's lying about. Um, but he does show up and is lying still. About, you know, the bullshit or whatever. Um, the set stuff, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then I'm like, yes, Vin, reject him. <laughs> Um, it's not about power or status, it's about trust. Because she's like, no, you keep saying this stuff about Ellen, and, like, he uses me, but it's like, yeah, and so did fucking Kelsey, but we use each other for, like, love and yep. trust yep. and, you know, all these good things. Like, it's, you know, it's... It's it's, it's mutual, it's a give and take, It's you a know. give and take, and it's like, you know, it's not about, like, you know, no, he's not, you know powerful and strong and you know the the greatest king or whatever but like it's about trust he trusts me and he loves me and so it's like no i'm not gonna like run off with you um and zane's the one who's really trying to use her because he's manipulating her for for the for his goals involving his father and taking the city and all that sort of stuff. He's trying to get her to leave. Oh yeah, because he's like leave yep, with, me with me because you know my dad won't know yep. and you know he. Uh, it's like oh, if you leave with me. Yeah, basically like oh, you want to go north? Fine, we can go north. Like yeah, we can go north, and then my dad won't have me. Yeah. Yep. Uh, which will be a huge blow to him, even though yeah. literally just trying to kill him. Yeah. And it's like, you you leave, and, like, you know, you won't know. Yep. And, like, and, and you got rid of Set, which yep. was, like, a huge deal. And it's like, no, actually, that wasn't good. Yeah. And all this sort of stuff. So it's like, he's still being his lying bitch self, and he's still trying to, like, use and manipulate her. Yeah, yeah cause then he, then he switches it to, like, save me. Yeah, cause he keeps being, like, save me, even after the point in yeah. which it's, like, sort of the manipulations kind yeah. of ended. Cause he, cause that's, cause again. That is, that is part of what he wants. Yes. Well, a lot of what he wants. Yes, and so it's like, he's using her. Yes. He's like, you're gonna save me. Yes. If I do all this stuff, if I trick you and lie to you and do all these things. Yes. And I can get you in just the right position that you you'll save me. Yeah. And so it's like, he, he is using yes. her. He's, and, and so that's it's why. It's very, like, projection. Yeah, it's very much projection and also the fact that he has always been used as a tool yes. in this way. So it's like, his worldview is very much like her brother's and it's this very sort of use or be used kind of worldview. And it's like, it, it's interesting because through Zane, we essentially get to have a sort of Vin and her brother. Yeah. Stuff. Like, there's all this stuff about, like, with Vin and her brother that she doesn't get to sort of, like, have with her brother because right. her brother's dead. And and the, her brother did have that, like, sort of, you know, these things that he did that were out of love for her, yes. even though he was still, like, a shitty person. Yeah. And so, like, Zane, and Zane's much the same way. He has these things that he does out of love for his family, yes. out of love for his father, even though all the shitty, horrible things. Yeah. And so it's like, Zane is kind of like... Reen yeah. in a lot of these ways, and so we get to kind of have that kind of philosophical. Yes, you know, it's like in the first book, Reen is this voice inside of her head, the yeah. sort of like set of instincts that she learned from him that she has to sort of let go, and then in this book, she sort of has to confront them head on in the form of Zane. Yeah. Um, and, and sort of like, you know, cause I was like, oh, Reen, we're probably going to see Reen at some point, yeah. but we don't get to see Reen, but instead we get Zane, yeah. who can kind of act in a similar sort of like role, like to, someone to sort of challenge her in that way. Yeah. Um, and so that's super interesting. Um, and then they fight. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, she's not the one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cause he, <laughs> it's like, she's not the one forcing you to stay with Straff. Right. 
because that was a, a whole thing that he, yep. that he sort of was like on about it's like you you know it's like now I have to like stay with Straff it's like no you don't you could have gone and fucking killed Straff Straff was fully ready for you to kill him you could have just fucking killed him <laughs> um but you didn't yeah um and you know again you know because there's the whole like like with Tumblr guy there's the whole sort of victim blamey aspect yes. of it where you know it's like not to be like victim blamey on on fucking Zane, but it's like, Zane, she's not the one who's keeping you with Straff. Right, right, And right, you're right. taking all this shit out on her that really isn't, like, she, you know. But he's like, oh, it's your fault yeah. now that I have to stay with him because we were supposed to run off together and be whatever. Yes. Um, and so they fight. Or Sir... Uh, and here's, here's the moment. Or Sir... Yes. Isn't Or Sir. No. Oh, it's it's really not been our sir since the beginning of the book. Nope. Or sir was the venture chondra question mark. Or sir got killed and replaced by Ten Soon. Yes. Um yeah. Uh, and that really threw me. Uh the chondra was the chondra all along. Who yeah. would have thought? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like one of the first things Vin does in this is tell our sir to like run away. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, well, that was a that was code. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that was like run away, but it's like yeah, code. Yeah, get the ATM. Yeah, and then he doesn't, and she's like, "What's going on?" And then Zane is like, "Come here." Yeah. Um, and she tries to pull on the mist. She tries to use the mist to pull on the ATM inside or sir slash ten soon, um, and. She can't. She's trying to pull in the mist, but she can't, like yeah. she did with the Lord Ruler. And I have a thought about this. This was just sort of like a thought that crossed my mind. If the mist is the deepness, then perhaps it wanted the Lord Ruler dead. Got and so you. now that the Lord Ruler's dead, it's not it's like not, helping yeah, her yeah, anymore. Yeah. Like the mist wants the Lord Ruler dead, but it maybe doesn't necessarily want her yeah. to sort of succeed in these other ways, yeah, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. it's unclear if it's like sentient or not. Right. The, the, the deepness, you know, some things sort of talk about as if it's like a sentient thing, yeah. while others, you know, don't per se. And so it's like maybe the reason why she was able to call on the mist to do that was because the mist wants Wanted, him dead yeah, because yeah. he was the one who was like sort of kind of keeping this thing back yeah. in a sense. But that's kind of just like some vague ideas that I've been having. Uh, Zane lays out the whole plan. Yeah. He's beating her up and he sort of does his villain bit about like, you know, it's like, you know, I, I did this and I did that. And, you yeah. know, it's like, it was all a waste because you didn't go along with it. You know, it's like having one of them be part of Set's thing so that you'd think that Set sent the assassins and having you kill all those people so you could realize your power yeah. and, you know, all this sort of stuff. And it was all for nothing. Yeah. And is beating the shit out of her. And uh, then Tensoon is like, be careful. She knows the secret of Chondra. <laughs> and he's like, huh? And she's like, huh? <laughs> it's like he's he's giving me a hint. He's he's yeah. um he's trying to like help me. And so she slams him with emotional alamancy. Yep. And then is suddenly like can feel him. Yes. And can control him and m makes him like run into Zane. Yep. And it's crazy. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. It's like, you know, Alamancy can control them. It's like, oh, emotional Alamancy doesn't work, but actually it does. And it's actually the thing that lets them, like, control them, which is super crazy. Because that's not how emotional Alamancy normally works. Yeah. So it's like, what the fuck is up with that? What's up with the Chondra? Super interesting. And then she's having to fight him with the ATM. She swallows her ATM. Turns out it was just a ball of lead yes. coated in ATM, so she only has ATM and, for a very yep. short amount of time, and also she just ate a bead of lead. That's not good for you, Vin. Please throw it <laughs> up. <laughs> like, that's lead poisoning right there. <laughs> like, please, please <laughs> throw up that ball of lead at, at your earliest convenience. At your earliest convenience. Um, but yeah, and then it becomes Luffy versus NL. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, because she's like... He can tell where I'm going to strike, so yep. I have to not tell where I'm going to strike. Basically, yep. Um, just like, she, she's like, I gotta like go on like instinct or whatever, and it makes me think of the Luffy versus that. It made me think of a, a, also another One Piece fight, but it especially made me think of Luffy versus NL when he does the like, buh. <laughs> he does yeah. idiot yeah, Luffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gummo, gummo, no, buh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> dodging the dodging the strikes. Um, but it's super interesting because because the way it's described is like this. It's like okay, she goes to attack him, but she's like just go on instinct, just strike out, don't think too much about it. And so then he like goes to like dodge. And so she can then see, like, oh, because he dodges early, because he can see the future, yes. he dodges early. So she sees... What she was going to do. What she was going to do. And so then she abruptly changes course. Yep. And from his perspective, he's like, her ATM suddenly, like, forked. Yeah. Like, right at the last second, and he chose the wrong one. Yeah. Essentially. Um, because she was, going, cause she was like, going to attack, and then it suddenly, like, forks right at the end because she like wasn't planning essentially yep. he's like now she has a plan and she sees that he's dodging that way so she goes yep. the other way and she gets stabbed yes but she also stabs him in the fucking neck she gets stabbed in the boob at one point <laughs> and she and gets pretty fucked up in this fight she gets really fucked up like spe- real fucked up but specifically she gets stabbed yeah. in the breast as it were and so i'm like because i think he does that like on purpose mm-hmm he also kisses her at one point. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, he fully like kisses her at one point, and it's like, ugh. Um, it, it's this whole, it's this whole thing. Um, but she stabs him in the fucking throat, and like goes like through his like windpipe, and he's like struggling, and he's like, you know, like I, I knew it was you the whole time because like that you were the one because you're the only person the voice never told me to kill. Yeah. And then the voice talks to him. It was like, of course I never told you to kill yeah. her. Uh, and, and says some more specific things. Yeah. Of course I didn't tell you to kill her, God said. You know the really funny thing, Zane? God said, the most amusing part of all this, you're not insane. You never were. Mm-hmm. And so that's also part of why I'm like, is that voice the same voice I was talking to Vin's mom? Somehow. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because it's like, if this is a person talking yeah. to him, actually, yeah. like... Not just, Not a voice just something in his in, his, in head, his head, but like a voice talking to him. Then like maybe that has something to do with Vin's mom and why she like did the thing that she did with Vin. Yeah, because it's like of course I wasn't gonna tell you to kill her. Yeah, it's like something something's up with that. What's... Yep. Yeah, because it's like emphasized in the uh, mm-hmm. italicized or whatever. Yep. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> yep. Kill him. God said. <laughs> Ma'am. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because it's like, because God really wants him to kill Straff, which mm-hmm. would be like a good thing, probably. So it's like, maybe God's good? and on, it, I don't know. Like, who is this God character anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I think who is this God character anyway is a line from um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's like... Um, more, more of, it's like a series of books someone wrote. It's like more of God's follies and who even is this God person anyway? (laughs) Um, but yeah, the voice of God, uh, talking to Zane says he was never insane. Zane's fucking dead. Uh, take Zane's body. Wild shit. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Just take Zane's bones. He's like, I think I'd rather not. Yeah. I also love that, like, immediately she's, she's like... Are you, Are you okay? okay? Like, mm-hmm. you know, how can I help on. you? And he's like, "Why?" Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, it's this, it's this little yeah. sweet thing. I, I love, I love him soon. Yep, and then he's just gonna replace some of his bones with the old dog's bones. I just need to say really quick that we have a little Sunni pup. A little, I yes. got one of the little Chandra from like the from Dragon Steel or whatever. I mm-hmm. got at the little reversible. Mm-hmm. Tensoon. And so it says Sunni Pup on the tag. Yeah, and, and like in and they had it way before I was like reading this yep. and stuff. And so it's like, you know, it's like a reversible thing. Yep. On one side it's like the the skeleton and like black and then you do it the other way and it's like the flesh. It's the the, the, the wolf. Yes, the wolf, the actual the wolf like, flesh. The wolf <laughs> flesh. <laughs> it's very fleshy, <laughs> no. Um <laughs> it's just like a cute little thing. And and I was like looking at it, yep. and I'm like, Sunni pup. What does what does that mean? Is that like the brand or whatever? And, and I was like, Yep, that's the brand. Yep, totally, that's, that's the brand. Yeah, that's the sure. brand. <laughs> and then I put it up where we can never look at it again. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is that because the thing is is that like I'm like, well, it doesn't say or sir. Yep. 
And so I was just yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. it's just... It's just a... It's just yeah. whatever. Um, and I'm like, oh, you know, it's like the wolf house. Like, it's yep. sir. It's like Sunni pup. I wonder what that's like yeah. about. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, it's ten soon. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's wild. See, also, it's like Sunni pup. Yep. So I'm like, does that have... It's like, are, do you have more secret Sunni pup, or do I know them all now? Um, it's like, he's not a pup, he's a full <laughs> dog. But maybe he's, I don't know. Um, he, he takes the bones of a puppy. That'd be really sad. <laughs> puppy horser. Yeah, puppy, puppy Tensoon. Yeah. Puppy horser. Right, because I, I, I now have to switch back to Tensoon, because I've been trying so hard to make sure I didn't say Tensoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the thing is, is that, like, I'm going to now have to make an effort to say Ten yep. soon, because yep. in my mind, it's Sorcerer. And also, it's so sad. Yeah. Because it means that, like... We never knew... We never really knew Orser. Nope. Actually. Nope. Like, like, genuinely, she never got to have her, like, moment with Orser. Nope. It was all with Ten soon, which it's, like... You know, Ten Soon, like it means something to them. Yes. It does still mean something oh, yeah. to, to Ten Soon and to her. Yep. But she never actually knew Orser. No, no. Like Kelsier knew mm -hmm, Orser. Orser. But but we we never nope. actually get to like know Orser. Nope. Like Orser was there at the very beginning of the book. Yep. And then he like, very pretty much immediately needs to get himself replaced yep. and like the, do the dog thing. And then like. He's gone for longer than he was supposed to. Yep. He's like, oh, you were gone for longer than you said you'd be. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's it difficult took, to get, took like... a while the... to get the hair right. Mm-hmm. And it's like, no, it's because you were fucking getting replaced. Yep. But, like, they make it so much like, oh, this is when it happened. Yep. But that's coming from... From... Fake or sir. Yep. He's already been replaced. And it's yep, just and like... he's basically running the whole, like... Mm-hmm the whole who's the Chandra or whatever yeah. and she's asking him mm -hmm. asking him about it and doing you know it. like it's it's like he it was, all runs through him he was there the whole time yep he he was Sam Reich <laughs> yep yep <laughs> and like he had the most information mm -hmm. right he was with Vin all the time had yep. the most the most information yep. always there because it's like who's always there yep and it's and it, yeah, like Demu, uh, you know oh, everyone else. Man, because I was like, it's Demu yeah. or it's fucking. Oh, I, I will. God. That's who I thought as well. Yeah. When I was reading it, I was like, it's probably, yeah. uh, it's, it's probably Demu, Demu uh, or Dachshund. Or Dachshund. I was, I was yeah. Dachshund or Demu. I was having trouble remembering Dachshund. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was like Demu or the other one. Yeah. yeah. It totally, it totally caught, caught me off guard. Yeah. It, did it's, not... it's very well done to make you think that. Yeah. And it's like, because that's what Vin thinks. But it's not thinks. unsatisfying. No. It's like, it, it's all there. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, we had two red herrings. <laughs> yep, yep. And we had Tensoon's name mentioned at the beginning of the book. Mm -hmm. Like, is it just like a throwaway with, with the, the, Straff that, like, oh, Zane sees Straff talking to Tensoon, their Chandra. Yeah, but, the, but there's no description nope. of Tensoon. Nope. There's no description of the Chandra. It's just, oh, he's just talking with the Chandra. Yeah. Because at that moment, Probably fucking looks like... It just looks like Orser. Probably. Just looks like the yep. dog. And so it's like, if we were there and could see it... See it, yeah. But no, we're in Zane's perspective, and from Zane's perspective, it's that's it's soon. soon. And and you don't really need to, like... Yep. And, and we don't really think to, like, linger too much nope. on it. We know... Because we already knew that they had a Chandra. We already knew that they had a Chandra. Because we were looking for their Chandra. Yeah. We were looking for who they were mm -hmm. taking the place of. Yeah, and it's like... And it's like, of course they yep. can't say, because yep. then that gives it away, yep. you know, for the book or whatever. And it's just like, because also it's like, the Chandra just looked like a person last time. Yep. Like, because in the previous book, we see the Chandra. Yep. And Ellen talks about it. Yep. Like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, the Chandra or whatever. And it's like, it just looks like a person. Yep. And we're expecting it to just look like a person. But no. It's <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. I'm, I'm holding the Sunni pop right now. It's <laughs> just, just like, like, <laughs> it's like, why? Oh uh, man, yeah, that was that was that was crazy. Yeah. and just like I was not expecting, but then I was so happy that he actually like you know helped. Yes, and it was like yeah, because like they really did like just like actually like have a like a relationship and actually became like close. It's also I I only just now had this thought, but it's like. Wow, he really did a better job at house elves yeah. than than J.K. Rowling yep. did. The Chandra are so much better, like in terms of being like 
we're a yeah. subservient slave yep. race. But it's like, no, it's because this has been culturally enforced upon us. Yeah. By like, we were literally created to be a slave race, and yet also at the same time, like while we are bound to this thing, yep. to this contract, it's, they are. It's, they're all. And individuals just, mm, and and people yeah. you know it's like they're so like from the beginning it's like it's clearly they're just people yep and and so then of course it's like so yeah so of course also the kolos are just people mm -hmm. they might be they they might still be like mentally different from us because yeah. they've been created in their minds or like you know but they're still just people yeah and they then they're like we're, we're humans and we will live inside your city yep which is why i think that there's still a way that like they could win, yeah. You know, and not have to die gloriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, die inspirationally. Yep. But it's just like he did a better. He did a better house elves. Yep. They're a, a subservient slave race, but they don't like yep. it. Yep. But they do it because they have to. It's a part of their religion, essentially, because it's the only way they that do they it for can. Protection. They do it for protection because it's the only way that they can survive yep. in this world. And it's just like it's it's so much better. Yes. And just, yep. And it's like he still follows the orders, but it's like he he does what he can yep. so that she can still win, like helps her, and it's just all this stuff. And yep. it's so good. It's, <laughs> it's, ah. I like you know all all that time ago in book one we see a mystery out yes. in the distance, and it's like. Yep. Oh, that's so, so crazy, yeah. and it's so interesting. And then all this time later, we have Ten Soon, and it's yep. just like getting to have these as like a character, and like yes, because we had Orser the whole time, but we didn't know. Yep, we didn't know what the deal was with Orser when he was being Lord whatever. Right, with the uh, yeah uh, Renew. Lord Renew. When he was being Lord Renew, we don't know that he's a Condra this whole time, but now right. we actually get like a Condra. Right. And he was he was fully in character yeah. as as Renew. Like yep. we never. Like, met him as Orsur. Like, Tensoon, like, being in this, like, dog's body mm -hmm. and, and stuff was kind of more able to yep. become his own individual. Yeah. Yeah, in, in this weird way, by not having to become another person, he got to be himself. Yes. Which is probably part of why he came to actually enjoy being yep. in the dog body. Yep, yeah. You know? It's yep. like... I, I don't have to pretend to be another person yep. and, like, take on their personality or whatever. As a dog, I just sort of do dog things. And then in private, we just talk. Yep. yep. And, like, you <laughs> care yep. to, like, get to know about all this sort of stuff. Like, at first you didn't, but now you do. Yep. And, like, so much growth has happened. And it's so good. <laughs> I'm still holding this. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> then soon. Uh, but yes, yeah, so so that was chapter forty seven. Yeah, and then chapter forty eight. Uh, my goodness. Uh, uh, hey, Ellen had the same idea to make more fake money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It starts with him being like, we, we probably have more wood than he does. We can make more <laughs> fake gold, maybe pay them off. Um, so, so that's fun. That's exciting. I'm like, good. I'm glad that we're on the same page. <laughs> and then my next note is, my brother? Because yeah. cause yeah. Vin shows up as like, I killed she, your brother. She, she runs in, crying and bloody. Mm -hmm. Vin, what happened? I killed him. Who? Your brother. Zane, Straff's Mistborn. I killed him. Wait, my brother? Brother? <laughs> Because he didn't know. Nope. This whole time he didn't know. Nope. Uh, I'm just like, what? <laughs> I'm just like, your brother. I <laughs> you, who? What? Huh? <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, and 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 then he's like, we're, let's let's go get Sazed. She's like, yeah. don't leave. And he's like, well, let's go together and yeah, get Sazed. Yeah. And then they go and get Sazed, and Sazed like starts making a joke. He's like, now's not the time for for levity. And it's like, well, she's still conscious, so she's not <laughs> in that much danger. <laughs> and so they start um, uh, treating her wounds. One of them being, as I said, in her boob. And so they like, yep. uh, <laughs> and so I'm like. Now it's not the time to worry about modesty because Zane, not Zane, wow, Ellen is like trying to like look away whenever there's like yeah. working on her like chest wound or whatever. Uh, and then, and then Vin is like, hey, <laughs> let's get married. It's like, hey, Sazed, what a, what marriage, cer do you know any marriage ceremonies? Yeah. And he's like, I know a bunch of them. What's the quickest one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you any, know any wedding ceremonies? I know several. Oh, yeah, because she didn't ask Ellen. She just no. asked Sazed. <laughs> yeah, she's just like, Sazed, do you know any wedding ceremonies? <laughs> and he could, Ellen nearly dropped the cloth in shock. 
I know several, some 200, which was the shortest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and uh, and then he he talks about one of the religions and how their simplicity was a yeah. big part of their thing because they had ran away from like a very bureaucratic yeah. society. The people of Larsta only required a profession of love before a local priest. Simplicity was a tenet of their belief structure. A reaction, perhaps, to the traditions of the land they were banished from, which was known for its complex system of bureaucratic rules. It is a good religion, uh, one that focused on simple beauty found in nature. That feels like it'd be a, a fairly good one for Ben. Gonna mark something? Yeah, there's been a few things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so yeah, so then they get married very quickly. Yep, yep, yeah, like, uh, after he explains what the ceremony is, Finn looks and goes, I love, love you. you. <laughs> it's like, what about you? It's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I love you too. <laughs> Um, and, and so they, they get married, uh, and then say, you two should go to the well. Luckily, I know right where it is. Yep. (laughs) Is my note. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just free the city when you get back. (laughs) Just like, go do this well thing. They'll hand the city over to Straff, but it'll be like peaceful. Yep. Um, because, you know, we're just like handing it over to him. He's going to make Penrod like... A fucking figurehead king yeah. or whatever. It's like he's gonna rule here locally while he goes off into those other stuff. Yeah. And so then you can come back and we'll have another rebellion yeah. and it'll be great. And you know it's a whole thing. And it's like okay. And he's like, yeah, you and Vin should go. Yeah. You know, just you. Well, actually, maybe you know, like a third person, yeah, like maybe a spook, maybe. Yeah, it's like oh, you <laughs> know, so someone else to help you like keep watch. And you know, maybe, yeah. maybe someone like a uh, like less born like less to born us yeah. will, will be helpful. Yeah. I'm definitely just coming up with this on the spot yeah. right now. Um, and, uh, and, 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 <laughs> oh yeah, it's like, oh yeah, I know exactly where it is, it's on this one mountain, I, I've learned about it in my studies, I'll make you a map, and, uh, and, uh, Ellen is like, oh, maybe the terrorist people will help. Maybe I can go over there and talk to the terrorist people and get them to help with this whole situation, and, and, uh, He's like, yeah, 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 and then that'll, that'll probably be fine. I mean, like, you know, they're mad at me because I'm just regarding their direct orders. But, you know, they're not against doing anything at all, which, I mean, they kind of are. Yeah. <laughs> but um, he's like, yeah, 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 that, that'll totally be fine. Just go, just go, just go. And they're like, all right, cool, sounds good. And then uh, and then we're in Saza's head where it's like, law, JK, I don't know where the well is. Yo, yo. <laughs> That's literally my last note for this section is, law, JK, I don't know where the well is. <laughs> yep. Then he began to fabricate the map he had promised Vin and Ellen. Yep. He's like, what are, what are they going to think of me lying like this yeah. and, you know, coming up with this sort of shit? But yeah, so we're finally doing it, though. Yeah. See, because it's in this chapter where it's like, oh, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you know, there's this pulsing yeah. from the well, but it's not like any particular direction. It, it thumps, Vin whispered, uh, Vin whispered, eyes closing. In my head, I can feel it. Um, can you feel where it is? Vin shook her head. I, there doesn't seem to be a direction to the pulses. I thought they were distant, but they're getting louder. Yeah, well, you, you say that, but then it's like, it's always north. You hear the pulses, and you're always like, north. I want to go north, to where the pulses are. I want to go north, because when you're talking to Zane, it's like, what would you do right now if you could do anything? And she's like, go north, where the pulses are. And it's like, so I... That's, that, you know, that, that part kind of gets me where I'm like, it's always been, I hear the pulses and I want to go north. Yeah. And then when he's like, do you know where they are? She's like, I don't know. And he's like, go north to Terrace. And it's like, yeah, yeah that's exactly what she already fucking said. <laughs> and so I'm just like, I don't know. That part, I'm like, I don't, I, I don't get exactly. Yeah. But whatever. Um, and they're finally doing it. Finally, in this book called The Well of Ascension, they're going to yeah, the, they're yeah. going to try and go to the Well of Ascension, uh, and that's exciting. And the and the party is going to be Vin, Ellen, Spook, and I guess maybe Arian yeah. if he can convince them to yeah. do that. And I think he wants he's trying to get Tyndall to join them too, right? Yes, and Tyndall. That's right. That's right. Yeah, because it was like just you three yeah. saying like Tyndall because yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. I always forget that Tyndall is also going to be a part of this. And that's and that's the end of part four. Yeah. That is the end of part four. And uh, and so what what are we what are we doing next time? Because you were saying maybe actually we'll split this up into two parts instead of just doing all the rest in one part. Yeah, although it depends on whether you can uh-huh. stop or not. You know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
Yeah, because our initial plan was that the next part will just, we'll just be, be up to the end. The rest. And so we'll either do that or split it up depending yeah. on sort of what uh, ends up kind of working best for us, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It, it's it's all happening. It feels like it's all yeah. sort of about to happen. Um, and, and I'm really excited to see where we kind of go from here, especially because we have a whole nother book. Yes. <laughs> we have a whole nother book after this. Yep. Each book, I'm like, I don't know yep. where this is going to end and yep. what the next book is going to be about. <laughs> and that's super interesting. It's yep. like, it, it, it doesn't, it's not predictable in that way. Yep. Um, but it doesn't feel sort of unpredictable in the way that it's like, oh, just, just like, random yeah, shit's just happening. Like pulled, pulled out of nowhere. Yeah. And it's, it's great. It's like a genuinely like, yeah. gets me with that like intrigue and yeah. mystery and like it, it, it does go in places that I don't expect, but it all sort of feels cohesive and yeah. like it all goes together. It's great. I'm, I was, I was so excited and like happy, like listening to those yeah. last bits i stood up super late because i'm just like i just want to listen yeah, to it, I just want to listen to all of it. <laughs> so i am uh, i am excited yeah. for this for this next part yep and hopefully we will record it in a timely yeah. manner and then start the next book yeah so, so uh, excited mm-hmm. it's we're all... definitely over halfway uh through the trilogy yep 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 yep, yep, yep. we're almost done with this one so oh yeah I'm I'm excited yep. to see where it all where it all goes, and then once we're done with the next book, yep. we'll have to figure out what we're doing after that. Yeah, but we'll have the whole book to get through yep. before we we get to that point. So so yeah, this is uh, it's been it's been book. Yes, this has been. Let's talk about book, and now you can go forth and think about book on your own time. Uh, feel free to do all the YouTube things, especially comment. Yeah, and we always love that. We love, we love to see comments. Uh, share. That's, that's yeah, one. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one. Because I hear that sharing with other people is one yeah. of the, like... Or clip something if you, if you would really yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I've thought about making shorts. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, making yeah. YouTube shorts, uh, like, clipping some things from our podcast and making them YouTube shorts for, like, sort of, you know because people can yeah. find it and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've also thought about like making various social media pages potentially. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, um it's this this has been Smeevka and Straub. Mm -hmm. And uh yeah, have a have a lovely whatever time it is wherever you are. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.